really even there? Is there a dog? Is he alone? Is he at the airport? Is he on a fucking bus? Is he on the plane? Is there a clicking noise? There's probably a clicking noise. Is this a clip show? I don't know if it's a clip show. It's a fucking show! Just listen, goddammit! Hey. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Mike Schmidt, 40 year old boy podcast. How are you? Hi. I wish I wish I could say I was fine. I'm not fine. I'm a I'm a little uh, I'm bananas. Here's what I just did. I took an hour long nap in Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. That's what I did. Those are good donuts. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. They'll just throw you into a fucking docoma, a doma. <laughs> just fucking get wiped out, dude. I just ate 75 munchkins and I am wiped the fuck out. I just got a glazed face. I'm just laying there, and that's the thing is, some dude sees you sleep. That's that's the terrifying. Yeah, you thing. don't want somebody. No catching. man, I'm sleeping in my Chevy Spark with glaze all over my face after eating 70. I literally I just blew 75 munchkins and now i got glaze all over my face as i sleep it off in a chevy spark my this is a bad fucking week folks already <laughs> already the window yeah excuse, excuse me, me sir 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 please let the munchkins go <laughs> could you please let the munchkins go sir there's they they're suffocating they need, you have to crack the windows if you're going to have that many munchkins in the car sir please <laughs> Because it is hot, it is not good for the munchkin to be locked up in a Chevy fucking spark. 911, uh, what's your emergency? <laughs> There's a guy in our parking lot, he's in a doe coma. And he's got like 75 munchkins in there. He won't let us in. He can't crack the window. Uh, actually, the emergency, we, should, we missed the full emergency. Yeah, there's a Chevy spark in our parking lot. <laughs> That's bad enough. Like, right there, that should be enough of an emergency for you guys to fucking come out here. Is it red? Jaws of life, the shit out of it. I, you know what? I firmly believe if you use the jaws of life on the Chevy Spark, yeah. it, it, you would, it would pick up the car like Truckosaurus in its jaws. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, literally, it doesn't just open the door. It, it would breaks actually, it. It would, it, it would lift it up and crack it open like an egg, and you would slip out like a yolk. <laughs> <laughs> that pet car, dude, that's like... <laughs> I, it's like driving a coffin. Like, I mean, it's just fucking ridiculous. I, I have a rental car, folks, is what I have here. And uh, I'm, I'm at David's house. Uh, as you know, that's our friend David. Hi, David. Hello. He is the art and the music guy and uh, and also the keeper of the basement. So when I'm here, we come here and we do the show here. And uh, and it was fortuitous. This is a last minute deal. Actually, I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be here. You're lucky I was home, man. I am truly lucky. I, I texted you last night. I think it was like eight thirty. And I, usually in the middle of the day on a Tuesday, I'm home. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> uh, so I texted him and I'm like, hey, uh, just long shot, short notice. Uh, would you be around tomorrow if you did to, uh, to do the show in your basement? And he said, uh. I don't know. The kitchen guys might still be here working. Because, and again, that's so funny to me because that's that's domestic. That is so I got, family. I got real life going. But on. yeah, you got a house. You got kids. You got the whole nine. I, I don't even. Here's here's what happened to me this week. I had workmen in my house. They stole something. <laughs> Fuck me. Got, you got are you got dudes in here? Let me ask you this: mm-hmm. If you got dudes in here working, do you trust them? Like you just like in, implicitly go, all right, fellas, do what you got to do. Well, that that was the hard part. Is that uh, well, the best part is we're getting our kitchen remodeled. You know, cabinets, countertops, the whole thing. But the guy that's doing it is just a guy. He doesn't have the, he's not the guy that comes to your house and smooth, smooth talks you, gets you to buy a bunch of shit, and then eight Mexicans come over to fix your kitchen. Okay. I can do that shit on my own. <laughs> um, Are you saying you have the strength of eight Mexicans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have the ability to summon eight Mexicans at this. any moment. All right, let me ask you this. We set up a, an octagon. Uh-huh. And on one side, we've got eight Mexicans. Yes. And on the other side, we have 75 munchkins. Oh, we go through that thing. No, yeah. Eight Mexicans in a victory? Oh, easily. Could you beat up 10 midgets? Could I beat up 10 midgets? Yeah, like at once. Like if they all fucking swarmed you. Like you always hear that story about like... Did I tell you my dad did that once? He beat up 10 midgets? No, Hold he, on, he, that's a good story. He beat up one midget. No. Well, see, that there's... But you can't gloat. Well, no, he never gloated about it. it was, he told it as a, just a funny anecdote story. He and his uh, younger sister were at a... At a this is time ago obviously they were at a, a, a bar they were something. in oz yeah. <laughs> they were at a bar in oz and this mouthy motherfucker this comes in thing. from the lollipop guild <laughs> and he starts talking a bunch of shit well you're dead don't take that shit from a guy from the lollipop guild let me tell you that so they're at a bar and and i don't know if it was a midget bar that they stumbled into or but for some reason there were some little people there and they were getting a little mouthy <laughs> and my my dad's sister you know it's funny that was his name mouthy that was little mouthy yeah little mouthy <laughs> was, little mouthy was there that's a problem <laughs> it's my boy little mouthy and somehow the other my, my uh aunt his sister uh she was a she was a bad chick she could throw she could okay. throw hands and somehow they got in a fight with a, a lady i don't know if it was a regular size lady or she was fighting a midget all i know is <laughs> 
that my dad <laughs> had his foot hooked around, you know, the, at the base of the bar, they had that bar sure, rail, yeah. the bar rail, whatever it's called. His foot was there, and, and the, the, the guy midget gave him a shove or something, and because he was locked up, he actually fell. He went over. Okay. So he got mad, and he sure. got up, and he, he grabbed the midget by the hair, and boom, just bopped need, his knee. I need him in the <laughs> face. Need him in the face. Yeah. Out cold. That's right. And that's all I know. That's all. That's all the whole story. I don't know how they gorgeous. got there. I don't know what happened afterwards. If the police were called, I just know he need a midget in the face. Let me ask you this. Now, when you when you beat up a midget in a fight, yeah, you can't really gloat. I suppose. Uh, well, no, I go the other way. Wow. Uh, you you got to gloat like a motherfucker, right? You got to be all said. And I would literally, I would just be like, come on, who's next? I would like, I would go to a grade school. I mean, anybody of that height, I would carry around that fucking cardboard thing that says you must be as tall as my arm to fight me. No, I'd carry the midget. There you go, dude. Hold him up. Well, I was just going to say. Like, you, uh, yeah. like uh, what's your face in Kill Bill? When like a severed head? head? Yeah. Yep. I like it. Yeah, that's you right. See Lou? Hang him from like the roof. Yeah, fuck right yeah. here. <laughs> this midget right here. So you're asking me about my house. Well, if you beat up a midget, oh, because uh, I say you, I, I say gloat. But All dude, right. uh, you know, here's what I would do: I would totally kick the shit out of a midget, and yeah. then I would fucking pick him up and spike him like a football, like just be like, like do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> How you, awesome would that be? <laughs> you dicky shuffle a yeah, midget, just fucking dominated him and just pick him up and just spike it, and then it's a cold cut. It's a cold cut. I do a Billy White shoes, dude, and I'd pull the midget over my shoulder and pretend to throw him, and then catch him with my other hand. God damn it. <laughs> What happened to the touchdown dance? Why has it gone away? I don't know. Why have they ruined it? The fucking dude. Because think about the touchdown dance. Icky Shovel had to think about. Icky was just like, I got to. You know what? I totally need a touchdown dance. How fucking great is that concept? Yeah. Just the idea of a guy going, man, if I score, I got to have a totally cool dance. I like and they when used guys to have put, dances. Put thought into it, but not like elaborate stuff, like silly stuff. Like yes. to me, the Icky Shuffle was really funny. It was that, ridiculous. That's, that's silly. Yeah, that's funny. Well, I but see, I like elaborate too because elaborate can also be silly. Because I, I to me, I'm sorry. I think, I think the Washington Redskins fun, fun bunch, bunch is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It's like 15 dudes who come out and do a fucking choreographed high five <laughs> dance. That's gorgeous. That's what it should be, man. If yeah. you fucking score and let them do it, man. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. We're. I was watching college football a couple of weeks ago, and uh, or it might have been, it might even been a pro game. I don't even fucking know. But a guy caught a, a, a fade. You know, in the end zone, yeah. like a, from the three or whatever, yeah. he caught the fade and he, he slid like he was sliding into uh -huh. home plate. And he just, in, in one motion, dude, uh -huh. caught it, slid, put the ball under his head and slept. <laughs> <laughs> like totally went to sleep. Like he was totally, like he had to take a nap. Oh, uh, dude, I totally just scored a touchdown. Now I need an end zone nap. I, I got to find out who the fuck it was because it was a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, oh, dude, that dude totally went to sleep. What a gorgeous, because again, you know he thought about it. He's just like, yeah, if I ever score, I'm totally uh, going to, and he slid yeah. right into it. Like he almost knew he was doing it. Well, I, I sometimes I like the impromptu one. Like, you know the receiver from the Cardinals, John, John Brown? Yes. Was it last season? I think it was last season. He caught a touchdown pass. And he, you ever see a little kid get so happy, like a little kid get so happy, they start flicking their arms around like this? He does this, it's got to be on YouTube somewhere, where he, he does this crazy little kid, little kid excited dance where his arms are flailing and his legs are flailing. It's not a dance at all. It's just, a, it's a, literally a little kid celebration of a touchdown. It's the I funniest see thing it. I've ever Dude, seen. I gotta it's, see it's it. stupid. But it's funny. Dude, because, I mean, I love, the, there's something to be said for the, you know, the elaborate. There's something to be said for the choreographed. Yeah. And also for the stupid dance. I mean, Terrell on, Owens, I mean, yeah, that's kind of funny. So yeah. Like pulling the Sharpie out of your sock. Um, th fucking uh, Fred Bolitnikoff, who's underrated, he used to. <laughs> <laughs> Qualifier. <laughs> Listen, Bolitnikoff's underrated. But it is an underrated celebration, in my opinion. He would catch a touchdown. Yeah. And he would, um, he would spike the ball just over his shoulder. Pull back like, like that. <laughs> Yeah, and just and that was like it wasn't a big spike. Like yeah, yeah. he would just catch it and like get the fuck out of here. Like literally just throw the ball over shoulder. Like it was garbage. Remember Willie Galt used to do something like that where he he jump in the air and his put, hurdle stretch, put yeah, yeah. it under his leg and then back over his back like right. Bolitnikov. But Bolit cool. Bolitnikov was just kind of like fuck. You know what I mean? Like he was like yeah, done. You know, I and I I loved it. I was a huge fan. My of that. favorite celebration of touchdown was Walter Payton. What the nun? Yeah, because he did. <laughs> he, he turned around. He gave the ball to his lineman and let him spike it. Yeah. I, which is fine, and I, for oh, Walter, God, it's awesome. I love, yeah, I it's the greatest. Like it. Do you ever hear that? You ever see the football life on Walter Payton? I have not. It's pretty cool. They, he was uh, his son, um, Jared. His, Jared, was talking about um, you know having to live in that shadow of Walter. And when he, when, when Jared was playing high school ball, I think, which is near us, yeah, actually, um, he uh, he scored a touchdown, and all his boys came up, and they were doing that jumping chest bump. 
And then all of a sudden he hears that whistle. That, beep, beep. Yeah. And he looks up and his dad gives him the throat slash. <laughs> and he just, he, he knew, he, he said, he's got to chill the fuck out. Don't do that. Dude, <laughs> it was I, like a reminder. But how awesome yeah. is that image? And because yeah. I, because I picture Peyton wearing that that taxi cab yeah. leather hat that he used to wear. <laughs> yeah. So he's got a leather coat and that leather hat on. And he's up in the fucking thing, shh, shh, just cut. Yeah, <laughs> and Jared just walks back to the sidelines like Charlie Brown. Gorgeous. Yeah. That's perfect. That's beautiful, dude. Uh, uh, here's another underrated. Well, it, well, I, I mean, it's not underrated. It's it's a famous moment and everybody knows it. I and know it wasn't it. technically a celebration, but but it should have been taken a step further, in my opinion. Um, Bo Jackson, Monday Night Football, Seahawks. Running through the tunnel? Yes. Don't Forrest, come back. Forrest Gump? Don't yeah. come back. Yeah, you don't come back. How do you come back? I, if I'm him, I literally you leave. Go out. You go out, you get in your yeah. car, you sit on the team bus. <laughs> You're just like, fuck it. I don't want to play no more. Yeah. I don't want to play no more. Th- just to hear the announcers be like, well, I guess Bo Jackson, something's wrong with Bo Jackson. I mean, he must be tired. He must Bo have pulled something Jackson. on that ride. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> There's a horse and a half out there, Bo Jackson. <laughs> Auburn University. That's not a bad Keith Jackson. Whoa, Nelly, Keith Jackson for Bo Jackson, Auburn University. Uh, there's one person out there who's like, yeah, that's a pretty good Keith Jackson. Everybody else oh, is like, man, that's a good Keith you're Jackson. an old person. I thought it was Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> oh, 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 so, hey, oh, hey. That's oh, Robin that's Williams. That's more James Gum. No, that was Robin Williams right there. Oh, oh, hey, oh, what a concept. Oh, hey. oh Jackson, <laughs> oh, hey, run down the tunnel. That he'd never come back. Oh, he's oh. just running the bus. And he said, eh, I'm in the bus. All right, so... <laughs> That was awful. You know what? You ever do that? Like, because you don't. All right. Because here's the thing: you can do voices. Well, and you know you can do them. Let's clarify that. All right. Oh, is that the dog? I think it is. I, all right. Just so you know, I'm not tolerating this. Sorry, I had to kill my dog. The mailman came to the door. See, I don't understand your why you're uh, so averse to that. Because I, I don't think there's any greater hallmark of a professional broadcast yeah. than animals milling about in the background. You, you told me that, and that's why <laughs> last time I, I I let it go. And when I listened back to it, I'm like, why did I let that dog bark like that? See, I don't listen to the show, so I wouldn't fucking really? know. But part of me is like, I, I almost think if Why I had... Why am I the only one that has to listen to the show? You don't have to. Well, I, well, I oh. do, because I gotta... I gotta well, uh, do me a favor, don't, because last week you're like, yeah, 45 minutes of talking. I'm like, I want to fly there and fucking strangle you. Do you know how hard it is to do 45 minutes of fucking talking, you fuck? Yeah, it's, it's hard, because you're used to doing like four hours of talking. Well, dude, when you're sitting there by yourself, and you're staring at a goddamn microphone that's mocking you, and yeah. all of a sudden it's like one in the morning, and you're like, goddamn no, it, I gotta do this, and it's fucking hot in the house, and the fucking ceiling fan is on and the fucking floor and the fucking floor safe we want the money it's in the goddamn floor safe and the fucking floor and the goddamn floor safe what are you doing <laughs> sir <laughs> that's my favorite part <laughs> when Walpert looks at fucking alfred molina and he's like sir we didn't and alfred molina makes his face like nah it happens all, all right. the time i'm shooting sure all you guys <laughs> don't worry about it happens all the time when people come in here and try to fucking steal money out of the goddamn floor safe the fucking floor safe the fucking other fucking man the fucking floor safe <laughs> what were you asking me about voices yeah, all right, see, because I just, like, right there, I just did a quality Thomas Jane from Boogie Nights. Sure you did. That yeah, wasn't you bad. Did. That's what I'm, yeah. But I'm saying you can actually do voices. Well, nah, I'm a mimic. You, know, you know what I mean. I'm a mimic. Okay. And it's because um, when I, when my kids were really little, mm-hmm. I they would just, I would entertain them for hours if I could just do a, a decent per- impersonation of something. One of their, they, you know, kids have stuffed animals. My kids had a gazillion stuffed animals. And if they were characters like Shrek or uh, you know Donkey, or, um, Elmo, Winnie the Pooh, all those. Ugh. I know you don't like Winnie the Pooh. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Why? Because I hate the voice. That's, it's just, it's uh, just. What was his name? Uh, I forget his name. Christopher Robin. No, the the guy that did the voice. Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm kid entertaining voice guy. Yeah, I just I just don't. It's just not my thing, man. Ooh, I just don't. But... No, 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 dude, please don't. I don't. I can't. <sighs> Oh, see, ah. I fucking hate it. It just, I, you know what it is? He's just such a pussy. I think that's what it is. I fuck it. I just, you know what? Why? Fuck a midget. I will fuck up Winnie the Pooh. I've got a rumbly. Oh, <laughs> see, that's the That's what I hate. That right there. The rumbly the, the, the weird, Yeah, the little kid, like, bullshit. It's like, dude, talk like a grown-up motherfucker. You got pants on. Or he actually doesn't, right? He's got a shirt on. I don't fucking I, know. Fuck you, 40-year-old boy. <laughs> I don't like it. Mike Schmidt. Oh, fuck. So, that that voice know, is just, and again, it's because he says... Little kid things, and it just I, even as a little kid, I hated him. I fucking hated Winnie the Pooh. I couldn't stand it. There's no, you really? know why? It's gentle. Like I think that's what it is. I just don't yeah, you like need, it gentle. You liked violence in your. Kid. I like I like a little edge yeah. to stuff. You know what I mean? I, I'd rather see Tom hit Jerry with a fucking pool cue. Yeah, I get you. Uh, I'm, oh, actually, I'd rather see Tom hit Jerry with anything because I fucking hate Jerry. How can you hate? 
Hey, Jerry. Jerry was minding his own business nine times out of ten in those cartoons. What are you talking about? Jerry's constantly looking for trouble. No, he isn't. He's just a mouse in a hole. He's a stroke. He gets hit with bricks and shit. You know what I love about my favorite thing about Tom and Jerry is the early, the early ones that they made. Uh, uh, the, whenever Jerry, uh, whenever Tom would get hit, they'd have that guy yell. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That is the funniest thing because here's a kid cartoon and they don't talk. The mouse doesn't talk. The cat doesn't talk. They're hitting each other with bowling balls and shit. And then out of nowhere, you get the, ah! <laughs> when he gets his tail put on fire or something. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say this and uh, you will not agree yeah. because you're not, you're not a, a person who likes people. You don't, you don't like uh, others. You, you kind of don't like uh, other bags of breathing meat. No, I like but I'm, I like persons. Hey, where'd you get the cold aquafina? It was in the fridge. I'm drinking fucking warm ice mountain. What I, am I, a guest? Is this what the guest gets? This piece of I shit? I thought this was, I thought you put this in the fridge. I probably did. So why didn't you fucking, uh, why did well, you let, go, on a previous trip? Oh, I trip? know why, because you don't want to destroy any more of my instruments. <laughs> well, I, you've, you've cleared a wide berth for me, and I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I did. Especially on short notice, because you didn't know I was coming. No, and I was recording music last night, so I had everything <laughs> right here, and, and I'm, there. it's way back. All right, yeah, good. Well, so I'm glad. I, I, it was... It was in the fridge. Well, I, could, I, could, I would have loved to call it. Well, no, we're talking. We'll do uh, maybe on a, if, if the dog goes crazy again. But I mean, because I, I just fish these out of the garage, the fucking warm ice oh. mountains. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and also, you know, I'm not, I'm a crystal geyser man. We all know this from I don't way drink back. water anyway. Love it. Huge fan. I Can't stop. Water. Oh my God, I love it. I only got this water because I didn't want to go upstairs and get my normal drink. <laughs> what do you, you have a gimlet? What do you drink when we're doing the show? Scotch. Ah, uh, nice. I don't, uh... Uh, yeah, I like an edge, man. I don't. I, and, I, and and fuck Jerry. I didn't care for him. And at, oh, is this oh, what had to do with me not liking people? Sort of. Here's the thing. You know who you would like? Who you would you would get along with? Funny Eddie, uh, Lily's boyfriend. Really? Yeah, because he's like a clown and a weirdo. So he's kind of like you. But uh, but like he does. He can do voices. He can do all that yeah. shit. And also. Like he he has an appreciation for like like he would know that about like Tom and Jerry like that that voice that oh, I bet he yeah. could even do that like yelling yeah. thing. Um, oh, the like, other one is the <laughs> whenever he would get hit, you get that weird yell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god, <laughs> awesome. They um they're uh, Eddie, see I think I'd clash with a dude like that. No, nah, I think you guys would actually kind of fucking yeah. thick as thieves. Like I, he he has a deal, and, and again because it's not like for me I'm not that's not I like Eddie nice guy, but I don't you know. I helped them move. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I just I, <laughs> you and Eddie are identical. I can't stand it. <laughs> I hate that fucking guy. Anyway, no, I, you no, I like, but Eddie, pff, no. he's no, he's a totally cool guy. It's just I wouldn't. You could bond with him on a comedic level and that sort of thing. And I, I don't, I don't know if I do that he's, so much. He's not afraid to be silly. Yes, he likes to be silly. Yeah. That's his whole deal. Like he literally. See, but I only like to be silly around the UN of evil. He has a squirrel like that. He'll, he'll again. And again, this will sound really too. Silly. He has a squirrel. And it, said, but it's on one of those bungee cords. Like literally if you were sitting there yeah. talking to him, he he just like whip it at you and then it would bounce back yeah, to his no, hand. See, I don't like that shit. Yeah. He, but he does all that shit. He does no, that. Cra- but not. also he's, he's like an eBay dude. Okay. Like when I would go to the oldest building in Hollywood, I would walk in and there would just be this box of bullwinkle bobbleheads. And I'm like, where the fuck did these come from? And it's like, Oh yeah. He, he would buy them and then resell them or whatever. He would find a way to do it. But he also collects like, Oh yeah, that yeah, that old cool. school. Yeah, like he's like he's got statues of the Flash. You know what I mean? I'm just like I don't get why. Aren't you fifty? No, I like that stuff. Yeah, you get a head full of gray hair. What are you doing with a statue with a Flash in your fucking house? Well, just when I thought I was out, you know. Okay. The kid pulls me back in. Oh I, sure. I've got a full set of uh, the Lord of the Rings action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Half of them I had before I had Ava. I, I just like action figures. I it just they're, they're not dolls. No, man. Okay. Good I got a couple dolls. <laughs> Yeah. To me, a doll is a stuffed do- a, a doll. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, is that, These yeah. are action figures because well, you, sure. You, you know, dolls don't usually come with like maces and flails. Well, let me and ask swords. you this: Why aren't they called action dolls? Why wouldn't you have an action doll? An action doll? Actually, I had That's an action doll. Else. Yeah, I had to hose had, it out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> action dolls. Yeah, I don't want one of those in my house. Yeah, I uh, actually I would. You ever see those fucking real sex dolls? Like those fucking. I saw a real sex episode where they showed the factory that made those human size, right. and they were like they weighed like a you know a ridiculous amount. Yeah, they because they're yeah. humans. They're yeah. basically they're essentially humans or whatever. Um, I just think it's weird. I could see getting the girl, but I don't know. They also make uh, men. The dude, yeah. I don't know. But it seems so much work because they they gotta load his junk with fluids. So oh, can... you actually simulate the fluid too? Yeah, 
They, they sh- I'm almost positive this was See, a real so, set. See, so, all right, so think about that. I so don't know. Is that, that's kind of like, Well, who's buying the dude? It's got to be another dude, right? I was going to say. All right, yeah. so he just he just wants the pop shot? That's what he's looking for? I don't know, but they had a way of making making stuff go places. Well, see, all right, if you're, all right, let's think of the logistics of this for just a second. Plus, the dude can only be posed one way. That's what I'm yeah, saying. So he, you got to lay him flat on the couch with his I fucking guess. cock in the air, and then you got to lower yourself onto it, fucking like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. You got to get yeah. fucking wheels and pulleys and shit. And then, are you holding like one of those sque- squeezy bulbs in your hand to let him go off maybe in your he's ass? Just on a, <laughs> maybe he's on a timer, just like in real life. You never know when that thing's going to go off. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 unfortunately, I do, sadly. Right. You can use a kitchen timer. <laughs> My eggs are done. <laughs> and gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I, I just think, because I mean, but it's got to shoot out. Like you have to control the shooting. Like there's no. I, I don't, I didn't get into it. I was just more. So like, like if you go, if you're blowing the sex doll and then you, but you got to have the squeezy ball. Why would you blow a sex doll? What else are you going to do with it? You're going to lower your ass onto it and then yeah, you're going to blow I, it and then you're done. I mean, I, I, I cause I mean, cause no lady's buying the, the real man sex doll, right? I Unless you're like a totally lonely lady. They showed some ladies using it. But yeah. I, well, yeah. yeah, but according if that's HBO real sex bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, yo, Hey, would you like to have some wine with a rubber? You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> Hey, who out there wants to have dinner with a boot? You know, with a, a boot with a cock attached to it. Who wants to mount Stretch Armstrong? Yeah, exactly. It's just fucking crazy. So I, I, I don't think any real woman is doing right. that. But it's guys doing it. Yeah, you know, what it is, it's a bunch of closet dudes who are just like, hey, man, I got a wife and I really like that. But that I, is a closet I'm dude. thinking about. Yeah, he totally is. You for keep real. In the closet. Yeah, you fucking throw him in there. Um, but actually, you know what? They might have that weird thing where they're like, I bought it ironically, and they've got him in the den. Like, but he's like, he's got clothes on, like he's got clothes on. But then when the people are out, they're like, hello. And then they unzip it and then go to work. <laughs> Let me take off your lumberjack clothes. <laughs> How you do? I can't believe I found how lucky I am to have you here wow, in my it's den. It's amazing. You're dressed like a cowboy. <laughs> I happen you, to like cowboys. You kind of, you kind of look like Heath Ledger. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah. What is, what a coincidence. Is it hot in here? It seems hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> we should take your hat off. I'm to take my damn hat off. <laughs> Dude, that movie's heartbreaking. I love that movie. Love it. Love it, love it, and it's just, and it just, uh, the feel of it. I was uh, when aesthetically, again, all of it is just gorgeous. The whole movie is gorgeous, but the most, to me, the most stark and bleak setting is the most gorgeous in the movie. And I know it's going to seem weird when he goes at the end to get the shirt. To get the yeah. shirt, their house is, is so yes. horrible. Yeah. It's just bleached white Sterile. wood. And salt, like it just, it just looks like There's it's no salty. There's no love in that house. None yeah. at all. Literally, you can just tell it's just this fucking, and you, and then when he has that, when he looks out his window and he's like yeah. this, and you know in his heart, he's like, this is where he grew up, this yeah. is where he became him, and he looked out this window so many times thinking he was going to get away from this. And, and even from the window, the view is terrible, and he had those two little... All those little things, like they, they kept yeah, it, they're like, we kept his room kept exactly his the way it was. was. There's nothing in it. It's like a no. blanket and a couple of like little horse figures and stuff. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. It, I, it, you know what else really got me? And uh, it's the way that they, uh, they use that guitar. There's yeah. a chord progression and I, I, I should look it up and learn how to play. Cause it is, it is just, every time I hear it, it's like a sock in the gut. Yeah. It's, it's a couple of chords. I'll have to look it up what they are, but yeah, I, I watched it, uh, I had already heard the hype because I don't watch movies. I don't see movies. Sure. I have to wait till they're on cable on my on my on my HBO. I have to wait for it to come on the HBO. So you and your lumberjack settle in late at night. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, e- going I was either going to watch that or <laughs> Heat again. Oh, nice. Or Black Rain. But I said, hey, I'm going to give this broke back. <laughs> bless you, broke back Thank mountain you. thing a shot. And I was Thank like, you. damn. Yeah. First, you're like, ah, those dudes are gay. Whoa. And then Not you realize dude. you're just like. And uh um. I learned the phrase "stem in the rose" from that movie. I because I when I heard that I was like, "Whoa!" Because well, once you realize what it is, when Randy Quaid confronts them, yeah, and he said, "I you know I heard you this is you know this is a this is a job this is this it's not yeah. for you two to be up there stem in the rose." Stem in the rose. And I was like, "Oh man!" Because <laughs> if because you, you once you yeah. realize what he means, you go, "Holy God!" Because I never literally and I will tell you this, never heard it before. Never heard it since. That's a phrase I, I'm not familiar with at all. But like I said, once you put together what it meant, you go, oh, I don't whoa. know. I don't know a lot about flowers. So uh, <laughs> I don't get it. I, I, get I, it. I can tell you, I know a lot about stems. You do. Um, I do. So, um, but that movie, though, you know, that's a movie. Uh, How do you go from talking about, what are we talking about? Stupid voices to like poignant stuff about Brokeback Mountain. That's what this show is, man. That's what happens in the basement. Um, no, I, I found that movie to be this in, uh, 
I found all of it real. Yeah. There was not one moment where I was like, well, this is a movie or this is some bullshit movie stuff or whatever. I found the entire thing to be acceptable and real. Like I, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm buying all of it from, you know, that whole last scene where his daughter comes to say that she's got yeah. a guy and she's getting married. And then he, he sees the, sh he turns and he looks at the shirt and he's like, Jack, I swear. And you're like, yeah. oh my God, dude. And then the, then you realize that because all the hype was about those guys pretending to be gay. And, yes. You know, and I'm like, no, man, that's not no. it at all. It's, it's, I mean, it's an inc it's incredibly beautiful. Yeah. It's an unbelievable film, dude. When they when they see each other and they can't keep their hands off each other after they haven't <laughs> seen each other in a long time, oh my god, you just it fucking leaps through the screen. You're just like, yeah, dude, you that's that's yeah. palpable fucking lust. You've seen it. I've lived it. I know it. You know what I mean? It's just it's crazy. You pinned a cowboy against a wall. And... <laughs> hey, man. Well, it wasn't a wall, and it wasn't a cowboy, <laughs> and I wouldn't say she was pinned. <laughs> Uh, it was more of a cowgirl. Uh, you wish. <laughs> uh, okay. You want you should, should I tell that story? I'm sure you'll no, love wanna, it. Yeah, I, wanna... I know you don't. Because right before you said, "Hey, dude, I got this really good picture of me. I want you to paint, but I'm not wearing a shirt." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I you pretty much because I have a own. photograph, and honestly, it's it looks. I don't. I have a picture <laughs> pinned to my wall like a cowboy. <laughs> um, I look like the Joker, but I don't wear any pants. Uh, I'm not wearing pants in the photo either, but you don't need to paint that part. See, that's where you make it. That's where you ruin it. What are you talking about? Why would I paint any of my friends without a shirt? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I go the complete other way. How have you not Jesus. done a full line of all of your friends shirtless? I might Jesus go. I might Christ. paint a big guy, maybe. But... Dude, I say, I say, you fucking. That's you know what? That's your Christmas gift this year <laughs> at the crab bag. It's just, it's just this fucking stack, and everybody opens it, and it's just shirtless fucking. Yeah, just buy ten I'm bucks for go... the paint and canvas. Yeah, I gotta then... go the opposite way though. I'd have to paint us all like vikings and shit like from a frazetta painting like we're all bad muscly and stuff <laughs> fuck that i think no i'm not saying to do us wrong but you know oh, paint us muscly or whatever but but all in the same pose like literally just shirtless <laughs> and just on a, on a landscape or some dumbness no, like i it, do you see a uh, flight of the concords when mel painted that picture of yes Jermaine? that's like a really bad like superposed uh you know album cover <laughs> art with a guy with a victorious sword mel the funniest thing in that show yeah. i loved her god i loved her what was that one? The tough was it the tough Bretts? Is that what they were called? The one where they had the street gang? Oh yeah, yeah. I that is probably the hardest I've laughed at watching it, something on the television, and I can't think of how long, dude. When they did that little West Side Story parody where yeah. the tough Bretts were walking around, and <laughs> oh god, yeah, god I, I, and so it was funny. It was, and it, but again, it was a slow burn, and also, uh, but again, in the true tradition of all, what are you doing? What's going on over there? You're getting some. You're getting... Well, I'm I'm maintaining the house here. All right. Is that the dog texting? Can I bark yet? <laughs> no, it looks like uh, looks like I might have some trouble with my daughter's grades. Oh, have you seen Junior's grades? That's, yeah, unfortunately, my phone is not for fun. Uh, so. well, well, I all right, I would argue with you on that, but that's fine. Um, well, you think my phone's a, a blast? Well, I'm so yeah, because you'll all of a sudden there'll be like a picture of you with like a a, a bearskin hat on or something, and you're like, yeah, I, I totally put that up, you know. And it's just you, you know. Oh, you, with yeah. Occasionally phone. I'll put some, but most of the time I gotta take emails about uh, you know what time I'm supposed to pick somebody up. <laughs> you from take track. emails. I like that. You know, yeah. Hey, take a letter. I look at an email. <laughs> um, what the fuck are we talking about? I don't know. We had something until I heard a link. Yeah, I know. My, that's my wife texting me about Ava. I might have to kill one of my kids later. I say you got to paint all of us. Oh, in, that's uh, it. Yeah, and, yeah, and and paint us in. Uh... Oh, we were talking about Flight of the Concords. In, in true tradition of of all good or great shows, they uh they were just the center of a of a fun universe. Like it, you know, they were they were funny. Certainly, the Concords were mm -hmm. Brett and Jermaine, but. But Murray and Mel were the funniest things oh, on the fucking show. Murray was hysterical. Dude, Murray was the greatest. He was so great. <laughs> so like Murray and Mel, that's what I'm saying. Everything, it was that thing where, you know, it's been that way since fucking Jack Benny. Everything happens around you. Yeah. You know, you're you're the center of it. You're the eye of this hurricane. But then all this craziness is happening around you and it's funny. Um, by the way, Jack Benny, never funny. No, I agree. <laughs> I'm just not a fan, even though I got chewed out. By, oh, and uh, remember when we were talking about Rat Pack? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That week, because I hadn't talked to Lily, and she wrote me, and she's like, "All right, does she listen?" Uh, which she she must okay. because she wrote me that week and said, uh, 
hey, because I, I had a problem downloading files or something that I had to put on. And she's like, all right, here's, you got to do this. Here's this tutorial. You can do this, do iTunes. And by the way, Dean Martin is absolutely the best member of the Rat Pack. I agree. So, uh, of course you do. And so did she. And I guess in retrospect, when I thought about it, I was like, nah. I mean, oh, look at the one guy, B. Oh, no. See, look at that. See, you do voices. I kissed her and she kissed me. See, that just sounds like Winnie the Pooh Italian. <laughs> like the fellow once said. Terrible. Ain't that a kick? Hate it. The... Hate it. No edge at all. Just don't totally me. fuck that. <laughs> I just, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I just, I, it was too gentle for me. I didn't, I did not relate to it in any way, shape, or form. I just, I, I like the fact that they hang out with a guy that's actually clinically depressed. Who, Christopher Robin or Winnie the Pooh? Eeyore. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That guy at any moment would kill himself yeah. if you left him alone. And they just, they just hang with him. Now you got a show. Yeah. Let him do that. All right, let's do that. Donkey? Yeah. But the... <laughs> Suicidal Donkey. That's my favorite game show in Japan. That's a uh, good song. <laughs> by so, the Reflex, uh, wasn't it? By the uh, reflex? I think it was the, po- yeah, the, the Suicidal, Suicidal Donkey. donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Suicidal Moo feeling bad. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, well, he's he's like Glum, right? Glum from the uh, from Glum the Lilliputian. Our from buddy Ken, our friend Ken, yes. Um, our buddy Ken, we call him Glum. Yeah, our, our friend Ken, because he's uh, he. If you heard his voice, you'd know why. But he sounds we're like doomed. Too. We're all doomed. We'll never make it. <laughs> um, God, we got to spike the midget on this. Let's do that. <laughs> we, that's gonna Is that jumping the shark? Spiking the midget? <laughs> we got to spike the midget. But, dude, if you're Bo Jackson, don't you just you run out and you bail, right? <laughs> Back to the, the well, I, I, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we were talking about it before. I was like, I, I just say he leaves and he I just sits on the... I don't play anymore. Yeah, I'm done. I'm we, finished. We can't get him out of his car. I did everything I needed to do. And he just and, and I, I like the idea of him just sitting on like a school bus in his full uniform <laughs> waiting for them to come out. They're all showered and what stuff. He's just like, yeah, come on. I did this. I took care of business. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Um, oh, Bo, yeah, Bo knows buses. <laughs> we do that, Bo knows buses. That's, dude, remember that fucking commercial? They should institute that in sports. What? If you do something completely, utterly ridiculous, the game can stop and you can go, you can go home. Like after Jordan pulled that move in like the, the finals against oh, the Oh, uh, the right, left, the yeah. righty, left, the upper, under? They just say game's over, Bulls win, everybody go home. Oh, wait, so the game's actually yeah. over. Once something. What if you're down by like 30? You have to because res- there are people who've done ridiculous things, and then and uh, you know in the middle of a, a blowout of losing, yeah, you lose being in the wrong. That's the equalizer. <laughs> All right, maybe in that nonsense? situation it, it's an automatic tie. Oh, in the game, cat's yeah. game, we start over. Let, let, well, let's say uh, I don't know what the score was when uh, Beckham made that f- that catch for the Giants. Last right. Year. Okay. Yeah, the one-handed grab. But let's say they were down fourteen points. As soon as he does that, it's an automatic tie. Tie game. Tie game. Time doesn't change. Yeah. Still the same moment of the game. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, like in basketball, when they would have that one. <laughs> that, hmm, was that basketball. One? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> I, I saw it up close. Um, I, I found, you know, because I've been going through a bunch of shit, because my house is full of death. So I'm just trying to get rid of the death that's in my house. Because it's like, I still, because I, I still just fucking marinate in, you know, I, I still got dishes and shit. Like, I don't want yeah, stuff in my house. You're and, almost a hoarder in a weird way, but you're a different kind of a hoarder. Nah, it's, you know, I would say it's a hoarding thing. Like, I, like I went through... You know, I just handed you a photograph today when I got here. I was like, hey, dude, I found this. Um, I have a picture. <laughs> and the way yeah, I hear it's me without a shirt on. Hey, dude, I, I found this. Wait a second. Did you ever finish that? I don't want to paint you. Just so it's clear, I am not painting anybody without a shirt. But this picture. Unless it's a lady. You don't even look at the photo. That's the thing that sucks. Because I, I, it was just a, sell, a photo that I took. Dude, the last time I had a pic, saw a picture of you and you didn't have a shirt on, it was when you and Big Guy were comparing guts and Cooperstown. Yeah, that's... That well, scarred me for life. Don't paint that. That's a good, that's a good picture. Though. It was a good picture. There's truly... Boy, I, you know what? Actually, I, from that should even go up. Like yeah. I should, I'm not going to put that up ever. Don't. No, it's battling guts and no, nobody... I no, would, it's horrifying. I would never do that to you. Um, but, uh, but, so, but now, so this photo, though, is, again, it's, it was me and the lovely Jill in... in uh, well, we were in bed. See? And, yeah. uh, and I took... But I took a selfie photo of us... That? Well, uh, I do, because I what, like it. I know, but to what what purpose? To get it painted? 
No, no, no. <laughs> you didn't take that picture going, I can't wait to show this to Dave because he's going to love it. No. I, I, well, I'll take a bunch of pictures. I get a mil- I get, dude, I get like 5,000 pictures of me and Jill. And not all of us are, not all of them are naked in bed, but well, there's a handful of them. That's certainly. what I'm saying. I, 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 two handfuls. I, there's two handfuls of them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I know half of them go to Facebook, but the other half, what do you... <laughs> half of my photos go to Facebook. The other half cannot go to Facebook because there would be a, a, a terms of service violation. And that's the only thing from stopping you from doing it. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't mind. I don't care. I, I get, dude, I got nothing to hide. I'm fucking, I'm dude. proud. I'm full of, I'm a prideful guy. Why not? Um, but I, I, but I've taken some fucking awesome photos. Dude, that was fucking photo 31. I told you it was, the, it, that was the, that brought the house down, man. That was the fucking, that was when I, uh, do you, I don't get, I, again, I don't get the pathology of it. Do you just go back and go, ha, look at that. And then you scroll to the other picture and go, oh man, look at that. I, I mean, I don't understand the, the... Well, just the ones that are just my cock? Or you mean the ones that are... Yeah, like, why do you have to have cock photos? Well, I mean, I was sending them to uh, our I, I, friend, <laughs> to Jill. I mean, it's not like I'm just doing it for myself oh, yeah. and posing it. I'm like, yeah, because I had a tea party. You know how it is. I fucking... I, just me and my cock were enjoying some tea. I was no. actually horrified that my wife texted me a, a message about our daughter and, uh, and some school issues in the middle of the show and I forgot <laughs> who I'm sitting with. So I, well, I, was, I don't even know. Well, that's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't wait for your phone to go off again. And you just look down. And I want to see your face. Yeah. <laughs> see, well, I told you I, well, cause I mean, that's just the thing, you know, I mean, I, I send her photos and, and, and I mean, I, I know people do that. I am not, you know, I'm, yes. it's not my thing, but right. uh, I just, I don't understand it because it's, it's so close <laughs> to horrific that no. I even flirt with the fact that, Oops. Oh, I see. Yeah, something could happen. Yeah, I, yeah, mean, I see what you mean. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson would probably thought, oh, my ass looks good in this mirror. We had, I will say this, one time Jill and I had a blowout fight. Like, just a, just no. a massive fight. And uh, I don't, I don't believe that. we did. Um, and and it was like, you know, will you get out of here? Well, I'm going. Well, you better go because I told you to get out. Well, I'm going to leave right now. All that bullshit. And uh, you leave first. And it was just, you know, I, it's, all right, I, I just want this chair. This chair is going with me. I, if I just can go ahead and grab this orange juice, if I can take this orange juice with me, then I'm fine. It was just all that fucking pent up nonsense bullshit. Um, because, you know, she doesn't want me to leave and I don't want to go. But we've, that's, we've both. That's a thing to fight over, by uh, all means. Well, dude, that's where it came to. I'm just saying. It's just, it, well, no, it was just, again, it was one of those little petty things that then turns into a fucking don't go. circus. But I want to stay. Shut up. Yeah, no, get out of here. Go, you go. Gonna, I'm going to go. I'm totally going to go. Fine, you better go. All right, I'm going to leave. And then, and then, again, like I said, she doesn't want me to go, and I didn't want to leave. So I get to the door, Yeah. and then I go to open the door, and, and she slams there. She's like, you're just going to leave just like that. You're just going to fucking, you're just going to walk out. And and I was like, well, I, you told me to go. Well, I'm going to go, whatever the fuck. And then her thing was, uh, she slams the door, and she goes, um, you have pictures of me. You can't leave until they're all gone. And I'm See, like, what are you talking about? And she goes, you have pictures, you have photos of me, you can't leave, you're not leaving this house with them. I and I said, I, yeah, I, that's my, that's my kind of my point. I and so I was like, uh, I go, I have like 4,000 photos of you. Well, no, I said, and, and, and it was this thing where I went, uh, well, those are mine <laughs> as, as well as ours. I go, but also there's 4,000 photos. Like I, I couldn't, I mean, I can't. It's, what do you expect me to do Why with that? Why don't them? we sit down, scroll through them, and see which ones you can live with? Uh, I, well, and maybe by that time we won't be fighting anymore. Well, it, it it just it kept going on, and it was it turned into that, and I it was this thing where I uh, I, I went all right, I all right if that if that's I mean if that's what we're going well, that's what we're doing, fine. I want my cock photos back and my album <laughs> and my triumph shirt. She can keep my cock photos. I what, she can put those up. Nobody's gonna care. Um, but but I, I so I sat down and I, I turned the, I I put on my laptop and I plugged in my hard drive and everything and then it came up and like I said there's just there were there's thousands of photos I have them and because there's dude there's there's photos of just us our our hands close ups of us because I love her hands I love them and so we're holding hands and so I have that you and then took a picture of your hands being holded yes I did. Yeah, I do. I like stuff like that. You don't. You can think I'm a dick no. or whatever the fuck, but I mean, I, I love <laughs> that. Yeah, it goes that extreme. Dude, yes, well, you're a dick. Well, you know what I mean? No, There's I a picture have... of us. Like, I have pictures of our shadows, like of us <laughs> holding hands. I'm sorry. I'm fucking nine. I do. I love it. I, yeah, that, I mean, I've perhaps idealized I'm not, I'm this. I'm not re- making fun of. I, I'm just, I marvel at that, at the, at the re- regression I guess it's called regression. I don't, I don't think it's you... regression. I, well, I, you kind of, well, again, it, I, because to me, it, I liken it to, uh, you know, when when you're in fre- your freshman year and you and you, you you get your first girlfriend, and before you know it, 
you know, you're well, not seeing your friends anymore and, and you're, you're like, you know, like, you know, you're hanging out all the time and you, you like each other's hands. You know, that newness, because I have a picture of my wife and, and, and my hand, our hands, but it's in our wedding album. Right. You know, it's the traditional ring photo. Yeah, well, hands I, are over that, yeah but I didn't, I never had that. I mean, I guess that's mm-hmm. one of the reasons why I love doing all this stuff with Jill. It's all, right. it's all new to me. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I didn't date so much in school, and then I did date, when I did date people, it wasn't, it wasn't a fucking any long-term thing. Like, no, you've been with Kristen you, forever. You usually bite them, and they don't uh, like it. Uh, or they do I, like I don't, it. I, was, I don't know if they don't like it, they quite just, frankly. They just told, the dad, the dad told you not to do that anymore. <laughs> well, he called my mom, and my, actually, yeah. my mom called him. Hey, who's um, biting who? Hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> who's biting who? <laughs> who's biting who? Um... <laughs> So, so I sat down to get rid of the photos. I was like, all right. And, and I threw you, cause again, you can't just, I mean, dude, 4,000 photos, that's an undertaking. That's, it wasn't like I could just push a button. So no, I, uh, I, I get it. I, again, I'm well, but, I, but I take these photos because I, I love them and I love her and I, I want there to be, and, and I don't know if it's like a living record, but it's just, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm 15. I mean, I, I won't lie. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I I've invested in this relationship in a way where I'm a 15 year old boy, and I'm just like, oh my god! And yeah, I'm, but I'm... these are not Polaroids. True, but that, but that's why it's so much easier. Like, dude, look, if I had 4,000 yeah. Polaroids, then it's a fucking, then it's a thing. No, but then you. But know... when you can just grab your phone and just take photos, it's awesome. It's more of a safety issue, in my opinion. Like to me, oh, I, getting out there. I see what you mean. To yeah. me, I, I would, I could never do that, um, because this is again, this sounds weird. I almost respect. Well, again, it's my wife for 30-some years. It's hard to talk about her, like, in a new way. But w- let's say we were dating right now. I, I couldn't I- – I would want to do it because there's a, there's a – when you're that age and it's all new, there's this voyeuristic thing where you're like, oh, man, this is so hot. That's why grown-ups make sex tapes and stuff, I guess. But, the you know, just the chance that it's there and it can be hacked or out somewhere, I mean, to me, that's just devastating. So it's not worth it to me to... I'm not a consequences guy, David. Really? <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know, like I said, and look, they're not all those photos, but there's, there's, like I said, there's a photos of our shadows holding hands, or there's, there's photos, uh, you know, at, and look, there's photos of us at the zoo, and there's photos of us at the pool, and then yeah, there's know, photos of them. us at a restaurant with a hamburger, and yeah. then there's a photo of her lying face down on the beach, and I'm taking pictures she doesn't know I'm taking. I mean, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. I've got plenty of that stuff. Yeah. So, because she's fucking retarded hot. And so I, I have these photos. So she's like, you, you're not leaving here without getting rid of them. And so I, I literally sat down and I just, and I took a machete to it. I just, I just started throwing photos away. And I, as I was doing it, I was, I was horrified. I, I didn't want to do it. It was just this thing. And again, I have, I'm sure you're like, well, you've got 4,000. What, how many are you going to think? Whatever. But it just, but it just <laughs> See, felt that's like. that's what I mean. It's, the, it's that. That's I know, it, yeah. but it just felt like a, it just, I didn't like it, you know, and, and, but I was doing it because, all right, well, if that was what it was going to take, you know, in, in, in the middle of this thing. And, uh, and of course, because I, because I knew we were going to make up. I knew it wasn't going to happen. So we made up and, and then she looked at me and, uh, and she's like, can you get those photos back? <laughs> Dude, and I said, what is uh, wrong with you guys? and I said, no. Well, it was, it was actually yeah. a very sad and poignant yeah. moment because it was, it kind of drilled home the fact that, you know, no, I, I can't. I mean, I, I'll you mean try. My ass cheeks are gone forever. No, it, it wasn't like that. I mean, cause, cause again, I would, I threw, I would, I wasn't discriminating. I was, I threw away Vegas. Like I was like, all right, I go, I even said to her, I go, look, this is the Vegas trip. Like, I mean, yeah. it's going to, you know, and, and, and. And it just went away. You know what I mean? And it didn't go away in our hearts and in our minds. But at the same time, it was just, it had come to that. It's just that stu- fights are stupid. They're just stupid. And I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But I, that's what I did was I want to, so I threw shit away. And, and, and then there's, you know, there's the metaphor of that, certainly the realism of what you're doing and then it, what it becomes. And it's, it just was a thing. So, I mean, but she was, she was, and she sat on my lap and she's looking at me and she's just sad. And I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I'm sad too. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, but it's unfortunately you made it just, me. Well, no, nah, she didn't make me do a fucking thing. You it just it became this, cock photos. this weird Armageddon where it was like, all right, well, I'm doing this. Well, I'm doing that. Well, I'm going to do this. And then, oh yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, all of a sudden mom's vase gets broken and you're like, oh man, <laughs> I'm telling. It's like when I had the flood every once in a while, I'll look for something. I go, I had a, Mar- didn't I have maracas? And I go to look for them and 
They're gone. You know what? I actually have a photo of those maracas. So I'll, I'll go ahead I and text it I wish I did. You. I could look at them again. Dude, I got a, I got a bunch of photos of maracas I could send you. I'm sure you'd be very interested. She's in the maracas. She's in the maracas, Dino. Dino. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I take, I, I take constant photos. I just kind of do it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, and she and I do it. It's what we do. You know, I just, I like doing it. (laughs) Yeah. I get, I obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But getting back to, you know, I'm not painting your picture. See, that's incorrect. You should. I'll put a sweater on you if you want. <laughs> I'll paint in a sweater. You know what? That would be worth it just to have you look at the photo with me without a shirt on and have yeah. to figure out what sweater would go with that photo. Yeah. But See, it's but a goddamn great photo. That's the thing. If you would just look at it artistically, you'd go, holy fuck, I cannot believe Because it looks like I hired a dude to take it. Like it was just See, you know how those... bad you want to. You're this close to doing that. Oh, dude, what are you talking about? Please. I, I'm, I'm even, I'm on the other side of it. I've, I've inquired. I've, I've looked for a dude. Hey, hey, come film us. Can you come over? I know it's seven in the morning. <laughs> but I look good. But the sunlight's coming through my window. It's so perfect. And I have a chubby. There's a unicorn. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to hire a guy to take my cock photos. I can handle that on my own. Thanks. Well, I, I, I'm sure I there's angles that. you can't get that I got a professional that down. guy can do. Oh, I've tried. Uh, there's the one with the, well, the, if you can get, cause my arms are luckily, they're kind of long enough where you can do this and you got your cock in the foreground and my face in the background, like waving, like, hi, I'm here too. Oh, you photobombed your own junk. Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> Man, I'm learning all kinds of stuff here. Sure. I can't wait to you paint that. Um, God, I, I, bec- I think I'm the, fl- I'm Flanders. <laughs> what, really? From the Simpsons. Yeah. Because you, you just, you talk about all this stuff and I'm like, I can't relate to a lot of it. And then, you know, I have, uh. My family, I mean, we're Kristen and I are like the on, only factory issue couple in existence. All my cousins my age are, have usually been divorced or right. in, a, in a, you know, something, remarried, whatever. And not, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, I just think we, we must appear to be very boring and, you know, middle of the road because there's no drama in our life. Yeah. I, well, I think it can happen. You know what I mean? I, well, in my... But that's cool. I like it that I way. I think we all, I think all, yeah, all my brothers got divorced. So Dandy and Scott, they, they <laughs> then that's not a, you have well, five brothers. Well, no, they never got married. They never got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, well, Glenn didn't get divorced either. He just fucking, well, you know. In a, you know what? I apologize. Lenny and I are the only ones who got <laughs> yeah, divorced. Exactly. <laughs> I should think before I speak. Yeah, That'd be a, a good idea. Bit, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a classic stereotype, you know, Mexican family. There's a ton of us. Yeah. You know, but Kristen and I still, we see everybody. And even though, you know, you know, how families are, every, some people have falling outs with people and this, this cousin dog doesn't talk to this aunt and this aunt doesn't talk to, we talk to everybody. And I just realized that's the benefit. We're Switzerland because we have no drama. We never got caught up in any kind of like fallouts. You know how families have fallouts. Sure. You know, at, usually at a wedding or a wake or something, it's, it culminates. But I said, we're, we're Switzerland, man. We're neutral. Yeah. That's good. I'll be Flanders. I don't mind. Let me ask you, you said you get a lot of dudes in your family, a lot of, a lot of big family. Large family. Yes. Why are they not fixing your kitchen? Uh, <laughs> what, just fucking bring them in. That's what Chris said. <laughs> she had to, uh, they were here, uh, the guy was working. Um, oh, they were here, there were there were a bunch of Mexicans here, and they, they were doing something. Oh, they were delivering the granite countertops. Okay. And so there was a lot of dudes in our house. And, you know, uh, Kristen went to wake Ava up and said, look, don't come downstairs. It's, it's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> there's like a bunch of mexicans and they're really loud so yeah just stay upstairs yeah well you should have just brought all of your your i mean your family over and just had a combination like quinceanera and tile laying <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it wouldn't have taken two weeks that's for sure no fuck i well yeah one dude doing it I, is that that seems fucking bizarre to me I that one it. dude is doing it yeah it wasn't that that bs where the guy comes in and he was he just like a craftsman like that dude he's got like his thumb up he's like the leonardo da vinci of countertops yeah he's just like a guy that knows how to do everything and he's got his own business and he only trusts himself because if you you know the only way to do it is to do it yourself where's he coming price wise you don't have to give me a number but i'm saying like yeah against everybody else yeah i mean we we wreck he was you know word of mouth and he charges you for supplies and then he does and then the work i mean he does the work and he he did it in the time he said he was going to do it and he did a really good job and it wasn't like one of those deals where, you know, he sells you everything and then he disappears and then 18 Guatemalan show up and put your kitchen in, Sure, which is fine. People work like that all the time, but it was neat to have just one dude come in and you knew he knew what he was doing. Cause you talked to him. Every Let me day. ask you this. Now you seem to like this guy. You've come, become very close. I'd say with I him. like him. It sounds like you're very close with him. Um, do you think he may have planted a hidden camera in your countertop of granite so he can spy on you in your kitchen? If he did, I don't really, doesn't bother me. We don't do anything except eat in there so no, yeah but what if he gets off on that what if that's his deal hey he's hey. like oh my god i love watching uh 
half Mexican, half white families eat spaghetti. Yeah, see? And he jerks off to it. Are you cool with that? Yeah. See, it's not like you live here. Then we'd have a problem. Well, you, I'd send, I'd send yeah. some photos of it. Yeah, you couldn't have kitchen <laughs> table sex. I couldn't? No. I got bad news for you. <laughs> I mean, you're saying I can't have sex on the table. But is that... Uh, is that kind of I've already had sex on the table? <laughs> what, a construction guy watching? Uh, well, and an Indian and a, and a policeman. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had them pop in. Because it's, were... fun, <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA and the Yemen's for Mex. Yeah, the Young, the young Mex Christians Association. If, if, That's you're, what it is. if you're having sex in front of the village people, I don't know if there's a chick involved. <laughs> in front of? Define in front of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe behind. <laughs> That made me laugh. Yeah. All right, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Young man. Look, it's fun to stay there. I'm not going to lie to you. I have to. It's, it's absolutely fun to stay there. Yeah. Um, in the Navy, officer. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ever think about that? I will tell you this. I watched a guy. I was watching a comedian online the other day. Because I, uh, here's the thing. I want to do stand-up comedians again. I don't want to. That's under weird. I want to All do of them? <laughs> I want to. Line up, fellas. Yeah. Ladies. Be prepared to have your picture uh, taken. Uh, <laughs> I want to do comedy again stand up you know, again i'm supposed to well get back into it or whatever I the know, fuck I um and i saw a comedian the other day and he was he was doing a routine uh a bit so on, he was uh, doing one of his jokes yeah he was doing a sketch He was doing this little sketch he's doing a skit and um and in it i'm not gonna go into it but he was he was making these references and he because he, he he put it up himself and he's like yeah i've retired this bit but i wanted to so i can go ahead and burn it by putting it in the public social media whatever the fuck yeah. and the and the references in it were easily 10 years old you know and, and it was from you know he had just been doing it in a club and he was getting laughs he was killing yeah. with it and stuff but that's that i told you that's the thing is that i i fear going into a club now you know i mean i i'm gonna make some i'm gonna make some weird reference everybody's gonna go, i have no fucking idea what you're talking about because it's all everybody wants to hear about asap rocky and i'm gonna yeah. be like i don't know a fucking thing about asap who the hell rocky. is ed sullivan yeah well no even worse yeah. like who the hell is like you said dan Aykroyd yeah. earlier yeah. it's like i Who's dan Aykroyd? that's what i'm saying people like, who the fuck because I, I told that story all the time on that game show when i had young people and i was yeah. trying to pit, talk about animal house and they had no fucking idea what i was talking about See, so as comics, if you lose touch or you lose relevance, that's you. You know, you have to stay current and know what the topical references yeah, are. Yeah, but a reference, even if it's an older reference, that that requires that's not on you. That's on the audience to not be idiots. I mean, when you when you were, uh, but it's also on me to say, recognize my crowd. But let's say you were. Uh, how old was this comedian? Would you say your age? He's, our age? He might be a little younger than me. All right. Uh, when you're that age, if you don't you don't know what old movies are or old you know what i mean all right, I, all right. I never had well sorry right, but i would say but, that, that. but it's not a, a crime thing i will t i have to tell you this really quickly um you know i talked about and i don't know if i even said this on the show i met i said i met the guy who was the uber yoda i, I talked about him yeah. i said this guy's my uber yoda well when i was before i told it on the show i was telling jill and i said hey i go i go i get met this guy he's the uber yoda and she looked at me and she goes who is yoda now that's not right well because she doesn't know she doesn't watch star wars she doesn't know anything about it and so that's why I'm saying to me, you, you know, you can't take for granted that everybody's going to keep up yeah, and, and know but, everything. Well, look, Yoda's yet. Yeah, that's completely different. Yeah, that's because right, let's, she's yeah. lived in a hermetically sealed bubble for, you know, raising her kids and working and doing that stuff. Um, I, I, I find it astonishing that she doesn't know I who Yoda do is. But it also made me laugh my ass off because I, went, I started cracking up. And I go, oh, my God, that's right. I go, you don't know who Yoda is. I go, I have to fucking change everything I say. Um, and look, I'm not in fear of this because I will tell you this. I also taped a bunch of fucking stand-up specials. Uh, you know, and of course there's, you know, you can't hold yourself against like Brian Regan and those dudes, but I taped a bunch of other shows and, uh, stand-up Connie's exactly the same. I mean, it's like, yeah. it hasn't changed. You know what I mean? It's like, I keep thinking that it's going to be this weird, different thing. Is that the dog again? I think it might be. What the hell? All right. All right. Don't tell the, a what is it? The ASSP. Don't tell Sarah McLaughlin, <laughs> but I'm literally going to kill this dog right now. In the arms of the angel. Sorry, dude. That my dog. I, I, it bothers you. It doesn't it, bother it me. But again, me. like I said, I will. I, I, I want to finish this thought from earlier. I said I don't listen to the fucking show, so I mean, I don't have your buds in to hear a barking no. dog in the background. So I don't know if it's annoying to the listener or not. It's annoying to me because at the the last time we recorded, we, you kind of said, "Oh, you know, the natural noises. It's okay." And I said, "All right, I'll, I'll get through it." 
listening back to it though it was just it was just distracting because i could hear the dog well it was bugging me well look i don't want it in there you know i don't I mean? either I'm, I'm trying to accommodate your house and and you know yeah. rogue lives here i don't so i mean i, I show up once yeah, a fucking Rogue's month a or dog two, true but at the same time i don't want to be that guy who's just like ah shut everything up and let's fucking do this no, she you know i feel like her, a jag she needs to get her shit together she's <laughs> she's been wacky because you know like me she doesn't do well with others she doesn't play well with others Wait, did, so wait, did you go to the, the mildly anxiety pet store? Is that what no, you did? You... No, she's not on medication. <laughs> <laughs> what end of the spectrum think, is your dog on? I think it's on? contagious, actually. Really? Yeah. So and she she senses is... your contempt and hatred for others and yeah. she's absorbed it? I don't know, man. But all, all right. I know is that in the past couple of weeks, there's been the kitchen guy and the counter guy and the plumber guy and the electrician guy in and out of this house. She's crapping everywhere and throwing out she's just a yeah. mess man she can't hang so are you sure it wasn't the workers and they just blamed it on her i don't know because i mean you don't know these dudes you, well, what you said you get 18 guatemalans and building a kitchen you're gonna wind up with piles of shit on the floor i had to clean up the barf so if that's the case then there's some guatemalans eating some dog food and i don't know what that's all about again they're guatemalans all right i don't know why that's even an issue for you right. of course well, the they must food. love rogue's food because i cleaned up enough of it mm. in in its secondary Stage. You know what? I'm willing to bet they brought it themselves in a sack lunch. <laughs> they, that's what they do. They get they, they yeah they like a dog food to themselves and they brought it as a sack lunch. Oh pupa. Oh, I just watched that movie recently. Yeah, I made Jill watch it. It was fantastic. She doesn't know who that is either. Uh, she did not. Her. Had no idea who it was. And then we watched it and she was like, oh. So I was, I was, <laughs> see, she... that's the cool thing. Oh, but that's the cool thing is rediscovering old stuff with her well, is fucking I, awesome. I have a similar experience. It's just that it was with my kids who have an excuse they weren't born yet well she had an excuse she was raising kids so i mean well i've raised kids and i i get references from 10 years ago yes well i don't know what happened in sports 10 years ago though i'll tell you that much see that's a deal i mean everybody's got their thing yeah you know she can tell you probably the packer score of every single fucking game for the past 25 years i would imagine um but you know you raise kids you get a job and 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 so what are you saying all of a sudden yoda gets away from you yoda (laughs) who's this yoda guy (laughs) Man, it must be hard to go through life not getting references. Well, that's well, I, and that's the thing. That's another. She's listened to my show from the beginning. I'm like, how do you even listen to this fucking that, yeah, show if you don't know what I'm talking thing. about? Half the time, you're saying shit I don't even know. But I've had people. But I've had people who say to me, and they've written me, and they they were like, I don't even know what you're saying, but the way you say it is just fucking hysterical. <laughs> They'll be like, dude, your cadence and the way you talk, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't matter what you're saying. You but know. On the so, flip side, isn't it encouraging when you uh, get somebody that goes, hey man, when you you know you you did some obscure reference. And, and you're like, somebody got it. And you're like, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you're like, because then you know you're not. I, well, I'll do that occasionally on the show and I'll say, well, I should just talk about it now. I, I do I, dumb stuff like that all the time. And how do you, <laughs> I don't even think you, you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a month ago, I did something and I, I it was just this nondescript, but I'm always, you know what? There's always somebody out there who knows what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. There always is. Because I talked about, remember, I, on, it was like two years ago, I talked about a song from the 90s. Okay. And all I can remember from it was, baby, baby. And that's all I can remember. I go, it was like a hard metal song, like one of those oh, new okay. new metal songs. But it, it was just ba da 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 ba da 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 baby baby da da da. Like, like and that's like gay bar. Well, kind of. a little bit. Yeah. So I talked about that on the show, and I, I easily twenty people that's wrote me. Right. Yeah. And they said it's when worlds collide by Static X. That, I remember and I was just that. Like, yeah. Oh, dude! And then some people bought it and sent it to me in the iTunes yeah. store. It was fucking great. So that just uh, a couple, about a month ago, I, should, I haven't answered this guy's email yet, which I should have, because no. I think I offered, I literally think I offered everything, like download sets and shirts and whatever, because I'm fucking stupid. It's not like you to just let it sit like that. <laughs> I'll get to him, I'm sure. But uh, all I did was in the show, I went, you got it, baby. And then I said, if anybody has any idea what that is, I, go, I, I said, I'll give you everything. I, I, right. I'm pretty sure I promised that. And uh, one dude yeah. wrote me, and he's just like, yeah, I... Uh, I don't need the stuff, the yeah. swag. He goes, but I think that's this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh Dude. my God. Dude. How the fuck did you know that? A couple of interludes ago, I forget which one. It was the interlude that had For the Life of Schmitty on it, I think. I think we did word for word the Paul McCartney, George Harrison argument and let it be. Yeah. Verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I that made me laugh so hard because I didn't... I, it was one of those things that... Maybe somebody will get it. Well, because you said to me, why is this like just jerking off? Yeah. And I go, I don't give a fuck for the one dude yeah. who hears it and goes, oh, my God, yes. Yeah. That's why we're doing it. Last, last time you recorded, you were telling me, uh, what was the name of the of the uh, the guru, the Yoda? What was his name? Oh, no, the, it was a guy from uh, uh, the podcast you were on. Was his name Ted? Ted Lied? Yeah. Yeah. I kept going, his name's Ted. Yeah. You know what that's from? 
uh, I, you're not going to know because it's completely stupid. And it only means anything to me because I've seen this movie it's a thousand not times. It's Granite Village. No. What is it? It's Grease. Okay. Travolta's telling Olivia Newton John when they're going to be on American band or national bandstand, whatever oh. it's called in that movie, that they yeah, can, yeah. they're going to get on camera. He goes, I know the cameraman. His name's Ted. Oh, okay. <laughs> the way he said it, his name's Ted. <laughs> Anytime I deal with a Ted, his name's Ted. Yeah. It, it, it gets thrown in the Travolta Because when we were doing And it made me, it just makes me laugh. Sure. Because I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things that's just stupid and, and you, but you I fucking have to pulled find, it. I still have to find a way to retreat into myself. I'm still back at the class trying to yeah. entertain myself, even though <laughs> I'm sitting in front of an entertainer. Why am I still doing that? Well, why not? I, I, and this week it's debatable. It's a coin flip at this point. Who knows? You want to know who the name of the, the entertainer is? Uh, I do. His name is Ted. Oh, fucking. <laughs> He's done. Um, so this dude's fixing your countertops. Now I have to tell this story. I at my house, uh, again, my house filled with death. I'm just, I'm just trying to to cull the wheat from the chaff. You're kind of like Gacy then. You yeah, just got these souls in your house. To, I have just lime everywhere. Um, <laughs> but there was a kid. Uh, uh, or no, there's a guy. There's a kid. Why? Well, uh, this doesn't sound good. Well, no, I'll tell this story. It's funny because I, as I was going through shit, I found, uh, I found like I gave you that photograph. I said, yeah, it was well, from De- Evil Dennis's. First marriage yeah, in 97. The fucking, but the weirdest thing, dude, I was going through and I found a birth announcement and a photo of a baby. And it was Woj's kid. Trevor? Uh, his oldest one? No, Tyler. Tyler. And uh, his birthday was that day. Weird. It was fucking bananas. Like, I mean, he, it was like his 17th birthday and they, had, they posted it on Facebook. Yeah, the same day you find it. And yeah. so I texted both Dave and Linda and I go, I go, this is ridiculous. I go, but I was, I was going through old boxes today and found this. Yeah. And uh, I and now and but here's the thing, I'm throwing it out. Like I mean, I, I'm not keeping the photo of their baby. You bastard. That's, well, because you said I was a weird hoarder, right? No, so I'm going through. Expect to keep that though. I but mean, seriously, I don't know because I mean, I have old Christmas cards. I got all sorts of old bullshit in my house, and I'm just I'm going through it and throwing it out. And 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 uh, I find piles of old photographs, and I'm like, I don't even know. I, my buddy Bob Gillespie sent me a photo of his son. Well, his son is now like you know a great baseball player. He's 13. He plays amazing. You know so. But I have the birth announcement and the picture of the baby. And I was like, this is awesome. I'm not, how long am I obligated to keep the photo? Because part of me wants to do this. I want to keep them forever, but I wish I could carry them with me. So whenever I ran to that person again, I go, hey, take this. <laughs> and just hand yeah. it back to them. <laughs> so, because that's like, I was so proud when I found that photo of you guys. I'm like, oh, I can totally give this to them because you'll like it. You know what yeah. I mean? You'll, you'll do something with it. But how funny would it be if you just met somebody like 30 years yeah. later and you're like, hey, dude. And you hand him a picture of his kid, like a baby. <laughs> hey, dude, check this out. Or, or even if you went, hey, man, I just had a kid, and you showed him the photo, he's like, wait a minute. That's my kid. Yeah, that's actually a funny test to see if somebody remembers yeah. it, because all babies look like raisins anyway. I think so. Yeah. yeah, so if you just went, hey, dude, check out check out my new kid. Your kid's ugly. Wait, that's my kid. <laughs> I just like, check out my new kid. Check dude, out my new kid. check out my new kid. Still got that new kid smell. <laughs> when we had to... Get ready for the people to come in and the guy to come in and do our kitchen. We had to obviously. End- I don't believe this story at all. It's people or guys. I don't. I don't know well, what you're saying. There's always the a guy, bunch of dudes. The, the guy did the work, but people had to bring him stuff. Like people delivered the grant the countertops. People, people. How many <laughs> people know about countertops? How many people out there know about granite? <laughs> people. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, we had to... Cl- so many people out there know about sandstone. <laughs> people! <laughs> <laughs> so I had to clean out all the drawers and all the crap we've accumulated in the 14 years we've been at this house. It's been 14 I see years. a group of you in the kitchen, yeah. and I see you talking about shale. <laughs> <laughs> Who out there wants to talk about limestone? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. So tell me about it. I swear to God, I could do that yeah. for two hours. I could watch. I you literally do it for two just hours. fucking do that the whole time. Holy shit! You have shit. to pay a pat for every time you do that. I you? must. Yeah, I, you, you know what? I should because it's it's it would yeah. be worth it to sit with him and go check out what I did. What you think? I, I, I gotta tell you this. I was so fucking mad when because he wrote me. This is a good year ago, mm-hmm. and uh, he texted me in Pardo, and he's like, "We got to do a Kiss show because he does yeah. the Rock Solid podcast." And I was like, "I'm in. You le- just let me know when, motherfucker. Yeah. I don't care." And then, uh, like, four months ago, he puts out the fucking tweet, and it's like, hey, Jimmy Pardo and Kyle Dodson discuss Kiss on Rock what? Solid. And I wrote him, and I, and I was genuinely, I won't lie, I was genuinely hurt. And I yeah. wrote him, and I'm like, dude, we were going to do that. Like, that would have been fucking awesome. And he's yeah. just like, you know what? I completely forgot because I'm, I'm really sorry. But also, at the same time, it's really smart because 
It would have just been Pardo going idiots as the two of us <laughs> just did Paul Stanley's yeah. fucking voice. Yeah. <laughs> But God, I wanted to talk about it. I mean, I just, because I would have totally loved to do a kiss show with him. That would have been fucking fantastic. Babel! <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you got, all right, so you got a group of dudes and you were saying. That- well, I was saying is that I had to clean, I had to clean out the, the counters and all the junk that we've accumulated. And, and um, I told Kristen, I go, look, don't go through it. Just get it out of the kitchen. When we, when it's time to put it back in, that's when we're going to purge. So the other day I'm sitting there and she hands me a picture of one of those little, it almost looks like uh, fax paper. Okay. Uh, it was a picture that uh, from those arcade camera deals from a long time ago. Oh, okay. It's like the photo and, booth yeah, thing? Yeah, like it, it was at Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Where you sit, you sit in a little Chuck E. Cheese car and you, and you put a quarters in and it gives you a picture. Really a bad black and white saturated picture. I have a pretty good sex photo on a Chuck yeah, E. Cheese car. I imagine you do. <laughs> and I looked at it and it's me and Ava who is about to turn three. And I looked at the date, and it was 9-12-2001. Okay. Wow. And, yeah. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I remembered that day, and the weirdness of that day was really creepy because, I mean, day after 9-11, it, it, Ava's birthday is right around then. Yeah. So I had taken the, the, the week off of work, and we were doing stuff <laughs> during the day. We are going to go to the zoo, blah, blah, blah. So we're at Chuck E. Cheese. So you're going to go to the zoo. You're going to fly some jetliners into the World Trade Center. Pretty you, much. You had a big weekend. Yeah, we were, we were going to do a lot yeah. of that stuff. You had to call your Jewish friends and tell them to get out of the World Trade Center before yeah. the jets hit. And I had to make sure all the uh, all the charges were set inside well, the towers. Oh, sure. And you had to make sure that jet fuel uh, yeah. actually burns through steel beams. Yeah. And make sure nobody ever takes account of the fact that the plane's made out of aluminum and aluminum. Anyway. Yeah. Well, so, you also had to take the photo of that backpacker on top of the World Trade Center I had to do as that. the plane was approaching. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to convince some kid to tell his teacher that the buildings weren't going to be there the next day and then send him off to school. Nice. And let me ask you this. Did you drive the truck bomb to the pentagon no i did not okay i was in i was the guy that actually helped them coordinate the actual missile strike into the pentagon ah okay i see yeah and but i had nothing to do with them shooting down flight 93 though that 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 was, that was their own thing how, yeah. uh, well how old I mean, was it? it was only three you... i can't you know there's only so many things you can take a baby bjorn no that was what you and Amy were at showbiz pizza yeah. at that time when yeah. flight 93 went down yeah. <laughs> the one in locker b <laughs> <laughs> No, she she helped me rig the uh, limo on uh, Princess Diana's. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, okay, that was that, that's that fine. Was that. And you were driving, taking the pictures. Yeah, actually, I was, I was I was the one taking the photos. I that's needed right, those photos. Were. Yeah, <laughs> I was chasing her into the fucking tunnel. Yeah, and then uh, then um, I have. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop you really quick yeah. I, because um you reminded me because you said shot down flight 93. Yeah, there's a song called Murder in the Skies by Gary Moore, and it's a fucking jam. It's like a rock song, but there's <laughs> there's a line in it, and he's like, the Russians have shot down a plane that was over Korea, and it's like a line in the song, yeah. like, and you're just like, what, why, who, why would you write that in the song? It's just, because again, that's what it's about. It's about yeah. Murder in the Sky when they yeah. shot down that fucking airliner, yeah. but he's like, the Russians have shot down a jetliner over Korea. I think it's what, and I'm like, what the fuck that's and it's like, a jam but it's just hilarious that that's fucking that's like those movies uh in the 80s and 70s where the the original music has to have the stuff from the plot in it oh sure yeah, like yeah. at the end of, like at the end of like for first blood when they're bringing rambo out the, the song starts he, goes, he was a guy <laughs> he was in the war you know and this real sappy music you know uh, Black Dynamite does a great job of that. All the music in Black Dynamite is is that. So great. It's so funny because it's like, you know, the song is literally describing what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's going to steal a helicopter. <laughs> God damn, that movie's yeah, funny. It is. Uh, all right, Dude, so you got that picture. Got into the room. <laughs> oh, yeah, the greatest, so. one of the funniest bits ever. I saw that at an outdoor theater with the whole cast of the of oh. the movie. And just, I, I, I remember going, this is going to be a huge hit because it was just rollicking it and it laid awesome. it everybody out and then it just went nowhere of course that's that's gonna be a cult it's gotta be a well cult of course it is thing. it's just it's, I, it's brilliant. phenomenal it's phenomenal it's so good so anyway 9 nine twelve at chuck e cheese it was death there was nobody sure in the place it was the craziest even thing the I, band took the day off chucky was not to be found. <laughs> chucky called in sick <laughs> <laughs> the band they, they were like yeah we can't i'm sorry we, fuck you know that, what man they showed up and they said you yeah, actually they just played nearer my god to thee and then they punched out <laughs> Amazing grace. <laughs> you have not lived until you've seen an armadillo fucking sing amazing grace oh man let me tell you that is that will fucking 
They'll knock innocent chills up your spine, yeah. goddammit. Yeah, the, the gorilla didn't even show up. <laughs> oh, he couldn't. Well, his sister worked there. <laughs> he had to go to New York and put up a flyer to try to find her. <laughs> it was the only gorilla lost in the tragedy. Why would you even put up the flyer? You should just say, my sister's a gorilla and she's missing. <laughs> Will you find her, please? No, he actually put the fucking flyer up. Hey, dude, first of all, go to work. You got a job? Go fucking play your music. Second of all, just... Just get the word out there's a gorilla. We don't need a picture of her. She's the only gorilla lost in the tragedy, okay? You don't need to fucking discern. Yeah, sure, there was a gorilla on the fucking plane that went down in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But that certainly wasn't her. That was an ape. <laughs> that was a mandrill. It was a gibbon. <laughs> dude, a, 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 a gibbon dude. almost saved Flight 93. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, dude. All right, so. Anyway, that's so, all. So Just you're finding, the, finding the picture. When you're not expecting to find a picture, it's kind of a, it was a gut punch because it's like, here's, you know, my daughter who's 17 years old right now. Right. And then I find this picture of her. She's not even three. And it's a day after 9-11. You just, all of a sudden I was transported back to that whole week. And it yeah. was just, it was fucked up. That was a fucked up week. <laughs> I will not lie. I, especially because yeah. that happened Tuesday and I was doing stand up on Friday. <laughs> you know what creeped me out? Uh, the band I was in played that Saturday night and the club the club that i was in that we were in was in the corner of a strip mall and right next to it was a an egyptian restaurant slash like bar type deal uh-huh. and this is how crazy it was then this is how i know because i would never think like this but i remember thinking god i hope nobody decides to just blow up that you know because right. everybody was so you know well sure anti-brown guys yeah and i'm like here's here's an egyptian restaurant but these people don't know the difference between a Saudi and an no, Egyptian. No, they don't fucking have any care. Clue. No, they didn't. At that point, they did not no, care at all. I know. And to the point where I'm going, wait, I'm, do I look Iranian? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Go, I had to go back to work. I go, I'm, I'm dark. I got brown hair. I hope I don't look like I'm like uh, somebody's gonna mistake me for a Middle Eastern person, and I'm, somebody's gonna hit me with a bat or something. Well, shit. the weird thing too is because I know you do have that pre-show ritual of eating a tub of hummus with a spoon on stage. Yeah. So that's got to be really and I was throws people the, off. Yeah, at the time I was bringing Baba Ganoush. To every every gig, <laughs> I I thought he quit the band early on. He Baba was, Ganoush, he yeah. never played out with you guys. No, I thought he was only recording. He was in the studio. He's like Brian Wilson, Baba Ganoush, <laughs> stage fright man. He's a genius in the studio, but he he, he can't he, get he out can't there. Get out there. No, I don't blame him. So we had to find a guy to do his parts. Uh, <laughs> a Bruce Johnston, if you will. Uh, uh, oh, oh, is that his name? Bruce jo- uh, Johnston with the I T. I forget the guy know. that that played on tour with them because Brian Wilson. Right. Yeah. Out. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so I, so all right, you had your, I don't even know how we fucking led into that. I don't know either, but the, uh, Oh, the, it's cause my house is filled with death and I'm trying to get rid of photographs and things like that and finding stuff and throwing it away. I know more so, about the gorillas in nine 11. <laughs> there was one. All right. Um, so, so I'm, like I said, it's, it's gradual, but I'm getting rid of shit in my house and I, I have a, it's funny. I have a chair that I have to get rid of and I, I jump so it's off not your my sleeping balls. sleeping chair. Is it? Oh yeah. 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 It's just, but I've had it forever. Why so do you now gotta get rid of it? Because it's, it's, it's got my essence all over it. Well, well, like, well, I mean, yeah, yeah literally and, and figuratively. Every other person's essence might be different here as far as def- is different. <laughs> no, right? no, it literally, you're, it's what you're thinking and what I'm, I had a different one oh, too. Oh, man. No, I don't, I don't, I, I talked about it on a show a few weeks ago where I was like. I, I don't <laughs> listen to those parts. <laughs> uh, it was the show I talked to my mom where I said I had, uh, I had a big purple that's jerk right. off chair yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah you're Wouldn't all you sad. get so fucking dirty? Yep. That's what she, yeah, she wanted to know. Um. So I, I, I don't let anybody into my apartment. I just fucking don't because it's like, you know, they have the workers and all that shit. And I, I, you know, when uh, they used to come in and fix shit all the time, like you'd tell them and they'd come do it. Now I just, now I don't, why don't you want the repair guy to come well, in? Well, there's no, I, I, it's not that I don't want him to come in. It's just that there's really nothing that needs repairs. I, don't, no. I never use the stove. I never, I barely, you know, if I eat something, I'll wash a dish and put it away. Like, so I don't use the sink very often in the kitchen. And it's just, my house is very utilitarian. Like I don't use anything. I use the bathroom. And then every once in a while, I got to fish out a fucking Muppet from the drain because of my fucking head. Um, but th- above my shower, the paint, because of the steam, I take really hot showers. Chipping. Yeah, it chips and, and peels. There's, yeah, water damage. And it steam. happens all the time. You know, I mean, it, it, and it, so they used to come in and repair it every couple of months. Well, I kind of haven't really told them about it. But also, they're not really responsive. Like, they're, they're starting to, uh, fuck, you know, if you manage a fucking apartment building, you're supposed to stay there, right? 
Are you supposed to be there, like, for if any shit happens? You usually have a maintenance man on call. Well, I mean, I have a building managers. It's a couple who manages the building. So they, yeah. they if, you, if shit happens, you tell them what's up. But it's not like there's a team of plumbers sitting there waiting for somebody to call. No, they call their painter and their plumber. Yeah. And he, they'll say, hey, we can get here in a couple of days. Why don't That's you tell them deal. to tile the ceiling? Right. Hold on. Right. But I'm, t- I'm talking about a whole completely different thing now. The I'm other more, day, I'm more upset about the fact that you're abusing your shower. We'll get there. All right. Um, you should see the photos I've taken of my shower. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I fucking, the other day I went to leave and, uh, I had to be somewhere at five. So I left my house at four and I closed the door and 50, it's four. No, I'm not that guy anymore. Really? (laughs) Okay. Uh, I'm not, I know. You know what guy? I had this weird epiphany. I'm like, dude, being late is fucked. Like you can't. Yeah, you usually can't be when late. you're about 50 years old, that's the time to turn that around. Well, because you, you realize you're just... Well, I mean, dude, it took you know 15 years ago is when I stopped spitting. You know what I mean? Like, or, or 20 <laughs> years ago. I'm not even joking. Like, I was, I was just talking this week about it. It was like, I, I, when I moved to California is when I stopped. Like, I just... I don't know if I thought it looked tough or what I did, but I mean, I literally would spit. And I think about it now, and I'm like, Jesus, fuck. What was the it, fuck were you doing? Was it tobacco? No. All right, then that is gross. No, it was, the, it was that oh, thing. Dude. It was yeah. that. It was that, it was that sort of thing. The hawk? Yeah. Yeah, and I was, I was doing that. And then I'm, I, one day, I literally went, what are you doing? And I, yeah. I don't, I mean, it was this weird shame that came over me. And, and then the, all of the years of having done it, I just went, the world's not your toilet. What the fuck is your problem? And so I just, I just fucking bailed on it. I started, it was like probably Bitter. 20 years ago or whatever. Yeah, I was certainly. Um, but I, uh, I left, I left my house. So I don't, so I don't be, I'm not late, like super yeah, late. You so know, you and went, I, you had to be if I'm late apartment. now, it's because of traffic or something like that. Or it's falling asleep in a Dunkin' Donut parking lot. Sometimes. Hmm. I'm exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted. Yeah. Uh, so I went to, <laughs> I'm, I'm mental, comma exhausted um so i i left the house i opened the door i leave at four o'clock i walk out into my courtyard slow, close the door and you know you know the instant it happens you know immediately that you don't have your keys you you just know it where it shows up and you just go oh like yeah. in slam door slam i don't yeah. have my keys fuck so um you had to get the guy <clears throat> well this has happened to me and i will say this it's happened to me probably four times this year where i've walked out of my house and just and left my keys on the desk because I, I it's like phone wallet keys it's always the last few things but yeah. then I also I grab a cooler and I fill it with water and I, it's and just in the rigmarole I I'll, I'll, I've missed my keys probably four times this year and but, but don't you need them to drive exactly but that's right. what I'm saying I get under my courtyard I close the door and I go fuck so I have to go yeah. get the building manager to go and get me my get keys to get me into my house so I can leave you're Mr Bungles but it's only but it's so funny when I say this. Four times in a year is not a bad percentage, but, but, it, yeah, yeah, when, yeah. but when you leave your house yeah. two, three times a fucking day, yeah. I, I don't think it's a bad percentage, but at the same time, no. you, you never feel more stupid than when you have to go, yeah, hey, yeah, happened, you know, and uh, one time I actually just pried the screen. I've talked about how I, I climbed in <laughs> through the fucking kitchen Instead window. going to get the guy, you decided to yeah. break into your own house. I did, and I did a fucking a crazy ass, like, hondo from SWAT somersault into my kitchen. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, you know, whatever I talked about that I hear, but, uh, so this time I went, ah, fuck. So I walk over to my building manager's house and I knock on the door and she doesn't answer and I knock and then I ring the bell and no, no fucking answer. So then I call her and, uh, I go, Hey, I don't know where you are, but I, you know, I locked myself out. If you can come let me in, that'd be great. No, no answer. I text her. No answer. This is four o'clock. I have to be somewhere at five. That's, that's about 45 minutes away. Maybe she's too fucking busy. Uh, words too fucking busy shouldn't be an apartment manager's job vocabulary. Um, so I, I fucking wind up sitting there. Oh, I thought you could say wind up, punched a hole through the wall. Well, I want you know what I literally I I busted out my old credit cards that have no value of now other than to break into houses, and so I try to break into my own house. I'm like trying to pop the lock at the credit card. And yeah. I used to be really good at that, but for some reason I couldn't pull it off this time. Then I try to pop the lock on the equipment room where I know the keys are, and I couldn't do it. So I'm, I'm just looking for anything. I text her and she doesn't answer. Finally, I have to call and say, look, I, you know, I'm not going to be there. And they're like, well, we're going to have to go with somebody else. And I'm like, fuck. So I lose that gig. Uh, and so then I, sit, I just sit there and finally she calls me and she's like, hey, Michael. I said, hey. And she calls me Michael. But she's still, I, I don't know why to this day. And I, I know she, why. She probably heard Karen call you Michael once and thought that's your name. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, don't. <laughs> I don't know. 
Sorry. Know, sorry to blind you with call logic. Me, call me tenant number eight or call me Mr. Schmidt. Uh, <laughs> they call me Mr. Schmidt. Actually, I'm sure behind closed doors are like that fucking idiot who forgot his keys again. That's who I'm, that's who I am around the you building. You know you're just Mr. Dick Bag. Pretty much. Uh, I wish I had a bag of dicks. I would have used it to knock the fucking door down. So I, I said, she calls me and she's like, hi. And I said, hey, um, you know, and she goes, I just got your text and your messages. I'm sorry, I was in a meeting at my son's school. I yeah. said, great. Well, where's your husband? And she's like, oh, he's out. I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of helpless here. I'm just sitting in the courtyard. She's like, yeah, well, I'm in Santa Monica. I'm probably not going to be home for another hour. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, well, then I, what do, then what are we doing? I go, I, I, literally, I have things to do. I can't just sit here. I go, I go. I go, you know what? I could probably just kick the door in and then have them just pay the damage or whatever. And she's like, well, no, don't do that. And she goes, can't you just pry the screen off and, and uh, go in the window? And I'm yeah. like, well, I don't know if you should be giving me advice on how to break into my fucking house. But I was like, ah, well, all right. I, Quit I trying said, to help me, lady. And I said, well, fuck, that ain't helping me. That, that, that doesn't make me feel good at all if you think, oh, yeah, you know what? Just so, take the screen off and you'll get in the fucking house. Fuck but that. Could, could you have? No, because the windows were closed. I closed. I keep oh, my doors, oh, windows right. closed yeah, yeah. and locked because I don't want them in my fucking house. Even so you're more mad that she went to this thing that she had to take care of. Yes. Well, right. it's four o'clock. Dude, punch yeah. out at five or whatever the fuck. Or have your husband behind to fucking help me get in the... You should never leave the building unmanned. It shouldn't happen. What if a drone strike happened? Who's going to be in... Who's the captain? Who's in charge? Who's going to be running the fucking civil emergency bell? I want someone to let off the siren. I hate when people don't do what you want them to do. I hate when people don't do their job. You ever see the departed when uh, the guy goes, uh, hey, who are you? And Al Baldwin goes, hey, I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. It's fucking gorgeous. What's that from? It's from The Departed. Oh, okay. It's okay, they're, okay, they're at a stakeout, and he just yeah. goes, who are you? And he goes, I'm the guy who does his fucking job. You must be the other guy. <laughs> and, it's, and it's just, I love that phrase. Yeah. And it's like, do your fucking job. So you know what? You're managing a building. Manage the fucking building. I don't care that your fucking twat kid has to go to a goddamn choir or whatever the fuck he's doing. What if it was something serious? So what? What if he had an epileptic seizure in class, and she had to go down there, and it was really treacherous on her? What if I had 18 Guatemalans in my house eating dog food, and they're going to oh. suffocate if I don't open the fucking door? <laughs> Can't have that. What if you were missing your gorilla sister? You fuck right. So I got to get in there, right? And take a look around. All right. I see you're starting to sway me now. You can't leave the building unmanned. You're, it's your job. It's the only fucking job you have. Walk around, wipe off the umbrellas, and let me into my house when I lock myself the fuck out. Honestly, that's literally, that's part of it when you go with the interview. Hey, can you let the dumb fucking apartment aid into his house when he locks his keys out and make sure the, pe- the pool is tidy? Like, that's it. That's your whole fucking job. So I, I just, I'm like, all right, I, fine. I, and literally because there's nothing you can do there's no answer she's just like yeah sorry i'm like oh okay i hang up the fucking phone i'm just fuming furious and i'm like i you know i literally i was gonna kick in the door and i'm like don't kick in the fucking door you want to but you can't yeah. um and then she calls five minutes later and she says hey uh you know i talked to the uh manager of the uh, the other building down the street and he's gonna come let you in mm-hmm. <laughs> well that was nice of her yeah that's fantastic where the fuck were you 45 minutes ago when i called you and and texted you and all that she shit was with her kid i don't give a fuck Man. The words with your kid should not be an apartment manager's vocabulary. What if she's too fucking busy? Uh, you know what this is? The world's smallest violin playing for my fucking apartment manager and her kid. You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you want to put up a petition? I'll sign it. You want to put it to a vote? I'll vote for it. But what I will not do is play ball. And as for this fucking non-college bullshit you're giving me, I got two words for you. Learn to fucking type. Ah, <laughs> Yes. I sat in a theater transfixed. <laughs> Literally owned me in the first five minutes. Um, you are Mr. Pink. Oh, dude. So I just, yeah. hey, you, you, look at you guys. Look at you guys. All right. Uh, I just watched that, actually. That was on this week. It was that thing where just, yeah, I put the remote down, just marinated in it. Yep. <laughs> and you think Joe's going to be mad? That's not half as mad as I am for putting me in room with that mother, that maniac. No, that bastard. He goes on that bastard. <laughs> I don't like alarms, Mr. White. <laughs> Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> My fucking hero. God, I can just do lines all day. All right, so. I know you could. <laughs> uh, so fucking, so she, uh, so this dude comes over and he's like really nice. Like, hi, Mike. And he, because uh, the people who own my building also own a building like two blocks away. Yeah. And he just, he has a key for it. So he came over. And, and you know well, funny? why didn't you think of it, Mr. Genius? Well, well because first of all, uh, do your fucking job. <laughs> Oh, she's too fucking busy. But what I didn't think of, the, honestly, the guy came, he was real cheerful, and he's nice. He got a baseball hat, and he looked like Rex Ryan. And he's just like, hey, Mike, how are you? Just a big gruff guy with, like, a calloused handshake. 10-4, we got a Schmidt uh, down the road. <laughs> building so he, two, uh, building two. He comes over, he lets me in, and then he leaves. And then I, I get in my house, I get my keys, and I go, why didn't I get that guy's fucking phone number? Yeah. 
for the next time this fucking happens. So I can just text him right away because I know that she's going to be out somewhere going, oh, I'm sorry, my kid had to fucking make a paper mache Christmas yeah. ornament. What the fuck? See, we're different. I would have just said, I'm never going to see these people again because I'm never doing this again. Never locking your keys in your car? Yeah, I would be so aggravated at myself. Well, yeah, I, I'm always aggravated at myself, but you know what? Sometimes it fucking happens. You know what I mean? I got to go. I got I to gotta hop around and do this and do that and get, take six of these and a couple of these naked lady tees, and I got to get out the fucking door. A little bit. So, they, uh, so that happened. So she fucking, I wind up stranded. I lose a gig. Uh, and I plunge myself into the night of Ubering. So I told her, I said, hey, uh, I, I need, this is about a week later. I said, I need somebody to take a look at the, the bathroom because, it's, you know, the, the paint thing's happening. And she goes, oh, the, with the shower? I go, yeah. And she goes, well, all right. She goes, he'll probably be here in like a week or two. And I, I go, all right, that's great. I go, but it, I mean, honestly, it, it looks like, the desert floor. I mean, there's cracks, it's painting, it's peeling. It's just, you, you, and she, I said, you really should come take a look at it. I said, because it's not only is it dripping now, but it's dripping through the wall into the windowsill because the paint is gone. So it's going through and soaking through. And I go, I the actual drywall. Yes. Gone. I go, I'm starting to worry that it's all going to kind of come down. It will eventually. And, uh, and she goes, Oh my God, well, let me get in there. And she, I brought her in and she looked at it. She goes, Oh geez. Snoop like, Dogg's yeah. going to fall in your exactly. shower. <laughs> he might. One, well, two, stuff. three into the four. Um, fool. <laughs> so I said to her, all right, look, I need, so she's like, we really got to do this. I go, yes, you do. She goes, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Carlos and he'll be here probably this weekend. I said, great. So she never officially told me when they were coming. So last Friday, I Ubered up almost 15 hours. Um, <laughs> you know, I was out driving and doing stuff. And by the time I got home, I was just, I was wasted. And I had, that was coming off 12 the day before. And, and like 10 the day before that. I mean, I was just, I've been, uh, I'll tell you all about it another time, but I've been, I've been Travis Bickle, like straight up, don't give a fuck, hose off the seats, let's just do this type of thing. All hours, everywhere, didn't fucking care. Um, because I need fucking cash. So, sad, I get home Friday night, it's like four in the morning, and I'm, I'm wired from the road. So I sit down and I, I watch my new favorite program, Donut Showdown! <laughs> Is that where they nap in their car for an hour? <laughs> donut Showdown is amazing because you. It, it, here's what I love about these shows. I watch the Cupcake Show. I watch the Donut Show. They have cupcakes and donuts on them. Well, certainly that's amazing. And I like to watch people cook. It's relaxing to me. Yeah. But I also like to see them argue amongst themselves and, <laughs> and pretend like this matters in any way, shape, or form. These people on Cupcake Wars will cry. And they go, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. You just made a red velvet cake shittily. So don't tell me it's the hardest thing you've ever done. <laughs> oh, my Christ. This is a shittily cake. That is awful. That's, that's, like, that's a little like lavender, by the way. Shittily. If you have, yeah. you got to put it in the frosting, yeah. Uh, but I, I love, I'm consumed by people who are just, you know, because they'll do this, the camera angles, like it always yeah. predicted. They'll be like, come on over to the ingredient table. You've got to use one of these ingredients, absinthe. And they'll show one of the cooks and then she'll go, <laughs> <laughs> anchovies. Oh, they're horrified. And then never, they're like, they like never the Cosby leave. kids when they, so they terrible, go, boo, thumbs, thumbs down. down. But they, they always pick, you know, and then because there's always, there's two ways to go. People will be like, look, man, let's just make like a chocolate cake that we know we can make and that's fine. And they'll yell at us for being safe. And then there's other people who are just like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a habanero dark chocolate cake with chocolate covered crickets on top. It's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> and then there's this French judge who's just like, this cake is this not work for me. It's terrible. It's the worst cake. It's so dense. It's so dense, this cake. And they're just like, I can't believe Florian said my cake was dense. And they're horrified. My cake was it's so perfect. You're tearing me apart. So that's great. But now I find Donut Showdown, which is better than Cupcake Wars because Donut Showdown brings three people in. And oh, there's another thing too. is like all the people on Cupcake Wars, they're just like, hey, uh, you know, my name, I, I have uh, Montclair Sweets in Montclair, Vermont. And it's right now an online bakery. We're like, no, open a storefront. And then, and then I'll Google them closed. Like they're all gone. <laughs> Like, just fucking... See, I, would, I would watch Cupcake Wars if they actually threw cupcakes at each other. Yeah. Your dream is dead. I love it. <laughs> Your dream. <laughs> I just Not love found. It. Nope. What's Sorry. Is it 404? Not yeah. found. I just picture them at home just making buttercream out of a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, oh, 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 oh. These are prison oh. cakes. Yeah, I can't believe it. Just got sterno in them. Um, <laughs> just making a, like a... We we're making a pruno cake with a, a pink d toilet disc fucking frosting i couldn't even <laughs> spit it out um you're what's cake. this got to do with your shower so 
uh, donut show. And it's fucking amazing. There's like three dudes. They're, they always have three cooks, and they'll be like, you know, I'm the I'm the boss donut maker at fucking Mr. Mustache's Donuts in Pontpelier, Vermont. Why am I in Vermont all day? I don't know. You like these? Cooks. I guess so. And uh, and then they'll be like, you got to use these twelve ingredients, and then. They'll, there's, you got to pick three of the 12 ingredients. So someone will be like, I'll take licorice. And someone will be like, I'll take sugar snap peas. And someone will go, I'll take cane sugar. And someone will be like, I'll take molasses. And I'll take jicama. And I'll take, you know, Cimarron. And uh, I, I don't know why they took a Western from them. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say cardamom and cinnamon. And I somehow pulled Cimarron out, a fucking Western movie. I'll take the good and the bad, the ugly. <laughs> Dude. I'll take Charo and <laughs> I'll take Flaming Star. <laughs> Dude. So I'll take Johnny Guitar. And uh <laughs> I'll take Rio Brown. So they fucking they'll pick out the fucking and then they'll get over to this chalkboard where they gotta write their plan. And this woman's like, we have lavender, thyme, and salmon. I've never used any of them in a cupcake, but I thought it would be interesting to try. You're on a game show! <laughs> Make what you know, motherfucker. Dude, I don't want salmon anywhere near my dessert. Dude, but they, they but that's what they'll do is they'll pick these three disparate ingredients and they'll be like, Yeah, I've never used these before. So we'll well let's see what we can do. And I'm like, you know what you can do? You can fail on donut showdown, motherfucker. You're going home. But then the judges get the fucking donuts and they have they like fake these fights. Like this guy will go, This donut was delectable. It was so delicious. And they'll go, I could not disagree with you more. And they play a music thing, bah! and they show the other judge making like a mean face. What? And he's like, This was a sour donut. I didn't care for it. I'm just like and just, and again. This complete exercise in yeah. nothing that matters to anyone in the fucking world. No. Except the people. That except Homer Simpson. <laughs> so, uh, but I love Donut Showdown. So anyway, I, so I'm wired Chocolate. after driving all day Friday and all night Friday. And so I sit on my chair and uh, I, I turn the TV on and then I, kinda, I just fucking drift off. Like I'm, I'm out. And uh, I hear pounding. Like this, this dog will start barking. Oh, sorry. I hear this muffled pounding. I'm going to just go knock, 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 knock. Okay. Yeah, that way the dog... It's a little harder than that. Knock, 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 knock. Okay. That's good. That's something... Dead electric like, that's drum. That's Duran Duran drums right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why was Roger... Roger Taylor was at your door. <laughs> One, two... <laughs> Three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Roger Taylor's at the door. Sup, fool. What's <laughs> up, big baby? What's up, seven and a ragged tiger? <laughs> What's up, notorious? <laughs> oh, stupid. What's up, planet Earth? What's up, cherry ice cream smile? <laughs> <laughs> so. What's up, chauffeur? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, stupid. It is. I love stupid. I'm a fan. Um, so there's this muffled pounding at the door, and I'm just, I'm just like, fuck. I, and it's that thing where you just kind of wake up out of a fog, because I, yeah. I, I fell asleep. I've, I'm doing this where I'm so fucking tired. TV on, you know, fucking water still open next to me, and I'm out. No blanket, fucking socks on, terrible. <laughs> uh, and, and so I hear this muffled pounding, and I can't figure out what it is. And finally, I come to my senses, and I, I'm like, oh, and I wake up, and... Uh, and, and I open the fucking door, and it's my manager and Carlos and another guy, and they've come to, to fix, fix the sink. Show. Yeah, they've come, come to fix the sink. <laughs> We've come to fix the sink. Sound it's it the plumber. He's come <laughs> to fix the sink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anybody who knows that? No, right. never mind. Um, so, and it's I. I didn't even look at the time, and and I go, okay. I go, well, I didn't. I thought you were going to tell me when you were coming. She's like, I'm sorry, we can come back. And I go, no, I go, if he's here now, do it. It's yeah. fine. And I, I just turn around and I sit back down on the chair and I look at my phone. It's fucking eight o'clock. So it's worker time. Well, I fell asleep at like yeah. five. You know what I mean? Right. So, so I'm out. And so I just, I literally go, all right. I go, yeah, you guys can come in and fix it. And, uh, and I just sat, I went on, I grabbed a blanket because I knew they'd have the door open yeah. walking in and out. And I just, I laid back down on the chair and I just went to sleep. And, and Carlos and his minions are, you know, they're stomping through my house. They're going back and forth. It's like him and two other dudes. And, uh, and they're, I, I didn't realize they're going to do this. I just wanted them to fix the shower proper. They, they painted the whole bathroom. Like they just went ahead and, and did this stuff. And, <laughs> and they, you know, they stripped down all the stuff and they put up whatever the, the sealant. I, again, I'm not a man. I have no fucking idea. I'm what not either, is. but it seems like they're just putting a bandaid on the problem. Well, of course, you, well, of course yeah. they are. I mean, yeah. you know, that's, that's the whole deal. It's so like, they, they come back more and do it again and <clears throat> Yeah, because it bubbles up. It'll do that thing yeah. where it starts to bubble. And, then, yeah. and again, so they come in, as I said, they come in every four months and yeah. fix it. 
So I waited this time. And so I kind of hoped they would do something, but I just, they went in and painted the whole bathroom. They went in and they stripped whatever they had to strip and they put in the sealant and they've painted it. But I was fucking asleep, man. Yeah. I got no idea. So I'm out and uh, they're stomping in and out of the house. And, uh, and then finally the dude wakes me up and he just looks and he's like, uh, we're finished. We're going now. <laughs> you almost, you should leave door closed because the paint is so strong. And leave I the said, door, leave uh, the door of the bathroom closed. Yes, and he the, goes. Yeah, he said, leave the bathroom window wide open yeah. and the door closed, so the paint will just go out. Yeah. I said, all right, that's fine. I said, can I take a shower? He goes, oh yes. And I go, I go, I can take a shower right now. And he goes, yeah. He goes, if you want to, it's fine. No, use the shower. <laughs> so I went, and I said, all right, great. So he left, uh, and I was like, because I had to get up and start Ubering. So, uh, so he again, and Napoleon and Napoleon Dynamite, they just left, right? Yeah, they bailed. Okay, they took right. off. <laughs> Them and Uncle Rico, they yeah. just bailed. And uh, uh, I still voted for him. Good. Um, so I went and I climbed into the shower and I started taking a shower. And I, uh, I have a routine. I have a ritual in the shower. Here's how I do things. Oh. I, you know, I, I, oh, well, I got to tell you. I can't wait. Uh, well, sometimes if I'm running late, I will brush my teeth in the shower. I will tell you that. I will bring in uh, just like a toothbrush and I'll brush my teeth. But first, I get a mouthful of toothbrush and toothpaste. And then, uh, and then I'll, uh, you keep looking to watch. Are we close on the disc? Oh, the disc you got four minutes. I'm I'm, right. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on when school. I didn't, well, I didn't want to do a, a third disc. I didn't. That makes no sense. You just talk till you're done, man. Finish your Carlos story. Oh my god, yeah, because this is gonna the payoff on this is so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing uh, like the Chuck E. Cheese thing. I think we keep going. We should, well, let's just you know what? Let's edit out all the rest of this. Right. So I'm in the shower and I'm scrubbing it up, man. I get my hair. So I wash my hair and then I do the rest of me while the hair is washed and then I get rinsed and then I put the conditioner in whatever the fuck. Yeah, we Last thing skip I do. That whole part. No, it's important that you oh, know. Okay. Uh, and then I take a few selfies, take some photos, yeah. text those off. You don't want, not in the shower though. Cause oh yeah. Don't you shrink up with the water? Uh, oh, you got a hot yeah, shower. Yeah, who are you talking to? You don't want the vigorous tug of Neptune. No, sir. Pulling your junk up inside. Uh, but I but I have dropped the phone into the shower before. That's not fun. Uh, so that's happened. So, but still I looked great. Uh, and you got to go because there's a right angle and you go from the, uh, there's that angle from the top down, which is not a bad, that's a pretty good angle to go with too. Um, so I, I'm in there, I'm showering. And then, uh, the last thing I apply is a facial cleanser. Cause I'm a, I'm a man who cares about his skin and his hair as, uh, I, you know, I get made fun of for it all the time. <laughs> Cause I'm like, well, you know, my hair's a little dry on the, on the on, and whatever. Jill just fucking rolls her eyes at me. So, uh, then you can do about old man here, man. Well, I tell her, well, well no, cause it's just like, cause it's long and, but in the, at the bottom, it gets it a gets little, wiry, right? it's kind of dry. It's called old man hair. Uh, okay. I don't think it's the, the truth. Do you think Antonio Banderas didn't wear a wig in the sequel to Desperado? He had to, his hair couldn't grow that long again. That's your go-to. Yeah. <laughs> What's your go-to reference regarding old man hair? All right. Antonio Banderas in the sequel to Desperado. Yeah. All, All right. right. <laughs> better. Here's a better one. <laughs> Billy Crystal. You ever see Billy Crystal's hair? That's old man hair. Well, he's got, but he had bad Jewish hair from the jump. But but, it, but it, it, at least it didn't look wiry. Old man hair gets wiry. Well, mine's not. It's it's dry. Like it gets yeah. weird dry at the ends. I mean, the top yeah. isn't, but it's 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 weird because you know holding it, wearing it long like this. Because then I spin the back into a fucking tail. See, this is the very conversation I had with Jill, where she just like stares at me and then rolls her eyes, and I'm like, I can't wait till you just hop on a orange vested dude's motorcycle and drive off to macho land as i sit here and talk about my fucking hair macho land. <laughs> it's it's just i it's i to macho macho land <sighs> headfield headfield we're off to macho macho land that's my headfield um i like it so i'm in the shower being macho scrubbing it up and i got to throw a facial cleanser on me now here you guys it, look i used to use a package deal from the bliss spa all right I, i'll throw out some plugs for them why not <sighs> Uh, I like a minty soap. That's what I like. And they used to have this thing called the Big Minty Mammoth Scrub Bar. I don't think the word mammoth was in it. It was uh, because it was named after Van Halen's first uh, incarnation. That was Van Halen's name before they became Van Halen. Um, mammoth Scrub? It's actually named that because when I'm finished using it every shower, it's woolly. <laughs> <laughs> Saltipus? Waxipus? <laughs> uh, uh, bacon Waxipus. <laughs> so it's a... Um, you do this thing where, uh, you know, this soap is gigantic. I mean, it's like a football and it's curved on the top and on the bottom, it's got like little plungers, like little, like little balls. It's fucking awesome. And it, it's got crunchies inside it. So it's, it's truly, it's called a mammoth, minty mammoth scrub bar soap or whatever the fuck. And it's, it scrubs the shit out of you because it's got crunchies inside of it, which I like. Dude, crunchies. So they, uh, I go to order it from Bliss Spa and it, it, um, it's no longer available. On the online bastards 
And then I, I was wondering why, because again, it's a soap. I've used the soap for years now. People were complaining that their skin was coming off. Well, it's interesting you would say that because it said when I called the guy at the Bliss Spa, I was like, hey, I'm looking for the mammoth. <laughs> Dude, I got to get on this Bliss problem right away. Where's my phone? Dude, I use a certain soap. It's what I like. You know, because I will tell you this. I tried to use Zest after, like, yeah, using the soap for two years. It's it's yeah. fucking terrible. It's why? just It's just because it, you know why? Because it feels like you're just rubbing bacon fat all over yourself. Fuck that, man. What's wrong with that? Yeah. All right. Well, if you're trying to get super clean in the shower... It's not good. I mean, afterwards, certainly, when you're taking some selfies, then go ahead and go with the bacon fat. Yeah, I guess if you're going to go on stage, you want to be really clean. Well, you don't want to smell like bacon fat. No. Not till after the show. <laughs> so I uh, I wind up, get, you know, I call the dude, and I'm like, hey, uh, I'm trying to order this. And he goes, oh, yeah. Well, you're in California? And I said, yeah. And he goes, yeah, you're probably not going to be you able to told, order didn't that. did you say this? You uh, told this before, where it's something in it was... Deadly causing... carcinogens. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I can't use that soap anymore. So I have to find a minty soap. But, the, but the, I, I can't order it from them. But then... Yeah, yeah. I remember you had... You, Jill bought it on eBay for me. She bought like five <laughs> bars. Literally. I mean, we'll get your cancer from somewhere else. <laughs> it's fine with me. So she bought like five bars. But that person didn't know what the heck is. They were charging the normal price. Yeah. And now if you go on eBay, this soap is double the price. Like uh-huh. it's just because people want it and they fucking can't get it. So... uh and I, you know, I always dunk into fucking like Planet Beauty and all these joints to see if they have any stockpiled in the back that they don't have anymore. I'm like, hey, do you guys have the, where do you keep the cancer causing soap? Uh, because I'll use, I don't give a fuck. You know, again, because we're all going to get it someday, right? And my mom kicked its ass three times, so I got to figure that I got to yeah, leg maybe, up. Maybe you got some sort of thing going. Exactly. So I'll take it out. Let's go. I'll dare it. Where, where eagles dare. You know where they dare? The Bliss Spa. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a pairing with that, so I actually wanted to buy, I had to buy, I've been using a new minty soap because I, I went into Planet Beauty and they're like, we don't have it. We have this minty soap and it's Paul Mitchell's minty soap. That guy doesn't know anything about mints. I'm not a fan, dude, because you know why? It's like, he's just so swarthy. Like, I, I don't even want to use any of his products because it looks like he's using it to meet Mediterranean models. And I don't, I don't need to meet any Mediterranean models. That's not up for me. But I, I just, I don't want to buy grooming products from a guy who looks like his beard smells like shawarma. I just, I just can't. <laughs> shawarma beard? Yeah. And so I just, I, again, that's when we're back to bacon fat in the goddamn shower. So, uh, so I, but I, I bought it because I, I, I'm desperate for a minty soap that makes my skin come alive. So I bring it home. There's no crunchies in it. Because I asked her, I go, are there crunchies in it? And uh, she then parsed out what I meant by crunchies. And then she's like, I think, yeah, I think there's a little bit in the, in the middle. And I'm like, of course there is. Because that's yeah. where you want to put the crunchies, yeah. directly in the middle. How oh, many, my God. You know what I want? Wipes? I want my soap to be like a Tootsie Pop, you fuck. Say, how many wipes does it take? <laughs> so ridiculous. So what, I, Did they fix your shower or, or didn't they? Listen. Your paints. I have a process. And I have to paint the picture. First of all, I'm naked. So, yes, but this picture is going on way too long. I don't agree. Oh, all right. Who are you to say those sorts of things? Sir? I listen to the show. Yes. And? And you're not on board any longer? Again, 45 I minutes of talking. Yeah, I know. I, I got know, I man. got what you think of the fucking show two weeks ago. Um. So I get this empty <laughs> soap, and uh, and it's so I'm, it's just, it's not doing it for me. So I guess why I'm in a circuitous way, yeah. I'm telling people out there, recommend to me a minty soap with crunchies, and I will be on board with it, please. I think you're more telling people how into your face you are. Yeah, I'm into my body and my face. Right. I got to get it clean. Well, That's I'm cool. old, dude. That's cool. Man, my skin looks good. Yeah. My skin looks good. So in addition to minty soap, I have the minty scrub, which is a facial cleanser, and this has a ton of crunchies in it. It's fucking awesome. So I don't use that on my whole body. I just use that on my face. I use the minty soap bar on everything else, but then I use this cleanser on my face. So I get in the shower on Saturday, and uh, I'm getting and I'm bleary eyed a little bit from sleeping in the chair. And I get uh, you know, like I said, I start with the hair. I get that going. I brush my teeth, and then uh, I get the fake Paul Mitchell minty shawarma soap, and I fucking work myself with that. And the fumes of the paint don't bog you. They don't oh no, they, they do. You. Clearly, they do. Oh, okay. And I'm wondering about passing out because the steam yeah. is mixing with it. And it's forming a, a deadly carcinogen. And yeah. I'm like, well, maybe I form this into a bar of soap and I sell it. In Auschwitz. So I, uh, I'm starting to get it, feel it a little, but I'm getting the minty soap and I'm getting cleaned up and I'm getting out and I rinse, then I rinse my hair and, uh, and then I throw, you know, I, I have mouthwash in at the time. And so look, there's a yeah, whole That process. goes in without saying. Of course. Uh, and I spit the mouthwash off when I rinse my yeah. hair and then I put the conditioner in my hair. Right. And then it's time for facial cleanser on my face. And I turn and I look and, uh, my $30 bottle of facial cleanser is gone. Yeah. Everything else is there. There's the tea tree mint shampoo that someone told me was a good mint shampoo. There's my nioxin. The nioxin twins are there. Joe Perry and, and uh, <laughs> Steven Tyler. <laughs> nioxin. Yeah. What is that? That's my shampoo and conditioner. Cause it's the thin hair. Don't let your hair fall out. Soap. 
Oh, or shampoo. Does that actually work? I still got hair. Oh, I didn't. I never. Was, yeah. I thought nothing stopped that stuff. No, you just um. Even you uh, just got to change your diet and stuff oh, and all that. Man. You know, like like so I made, somebody stole your dude. Dude. No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. No, no. Well, okay. I I leaped immediately to that conclusion because I started looking around. Dude, again, the the scrub the the buff puffs are in there. Wait, what's missing again? It's a super minty scrub cleanser, facial cleanser from Bliss Spa. No, Carlos was in your bathroom. Indeed, he was. And what? this is a I, look. And this is not something you would go that would go unnoticed. It is a tall. It's about a seven inch tall green and white tube. I mean, it's it's clearly there. Were his minions Mexican? I, I, he, yes, his minion was right. Mexican. You, it might have fallen somewhere where you can't see it because there's no way a bunch of Mexicans are going to take a facial scrub. See, you from think your house. that? Well, it, that's what you think. I, I'm telling you, unless I, you can put it on a tortilla or something. <laughs> well, I've never tried it. Well, I, I'm just saying, I, <laughs> as as theft goes, I don't get that. See, I, I, everything else is in there. All of the shampoos, all the buff puffs, the soap, everything. My razor, my hey. shaving cream from Harry's. Let's take this scrub. All of it. Is, well, <laughs> so here's the thing. I, I look. I'm not a crazy person. In my head, you I knew it was went, there. No, it's not there. I went. Obviously, they mistakenly grabbed it. Like, you know, I, oh, when they, they were cleaning. It was a paint chemical Yeah, I something. don't fucking yeah. know. Like, I mean, because I know nobody stole it. It's not like one of them yeah. went, fuck this. I'm totally taking this $30 cleanser. What if the guy next to you gets his apartment painted with facial scrub? Oh, the, they mint, grab... the mint? Yeah. <laughs> they throw it in like caulk? Yeah, they don't know. They make a mistake. Dude, that'd be fucking perfect. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm on board with that. I'm, I, <laughs> I like this mistake. It's my favorite mistake. Everybody smell. <laughs> it's a new mistake. Um, so, I, so I'm in the shower, and now... I'm fucking discombobulated, man, because I don't know what the fuck to do. I got a routine. I told you I wash the hair, I brush yeah. the teeth, and then I, I scrub the body down with the minty soap, and then I rinse everything off, and then I spit out the mouthwash, and then I put the conditioner in, and it's time for the facial cleanser. I got a process, man. Jill busts my balls all the time because my shower's like 12 minutes, and I'm like, look, there's a lot of me to take care of. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I got to take care of business. But now I got no cleanser. I got no facial scrub. I don't know what the fuck to do, man. That's a problem. Right it there. totally is. So you know what I had to do? Unfortunately, dude, I had to fucking Paul Mitchell the shit out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's just grim because now now my whole fucking face smells like spanakopita, <laughs> and what? that's not good. So I I just I'm just I got a falafel head and I'm like oh god why this you is know, terrible. The only thing is worse than that is when some French guy doesn't like your cupcake. This is dense. This is so dense. Your face is not good. This did not work for me. This is a, 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 it's more like a cornbread or a, it's just, it's not good. It's so bad. I have to be with, I have to disagree with Candice on this one. This, uh, this is the worst cake I've ever had in, the, in, the, in my life. There was, I got a little, a little of the cardamom, but, uh, <laughs> but the rest is just is a decent chocolate cupcake and that is not a challenge. So did you uh, call uh, the powers of B and say, hey, bring back my scrub? Uh, I got out of the shower. Well, I scrubbed, Mitchell my face and then I get out of the shower. So you didn't panic then? Well, no, I can't. Yeah. Uh, look, That's good, who are you talking to? Yeah, you could. You could slip. I sure could. Yeah. And I know I'm, I'm walking a fucking thin line. I'm walking a razor's edge as yeah. it is. Yeah, so you, I can't afford to let myself, because you know what? You played I, it cool. I can't get angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Mm. So, uh, so I get out, I get dressed, and then I, I call Naomi right away, because like, first I, 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 I look, lean out. And One I'm, of your I'm, pepper bellies stole my scrub. <laughs> hey, tell that taco bender to bring back my face. <laughs> Um, uh, we thought it was the paint. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. He's nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I go over to, uh, to her house and I knock on the door. Not there. Of course, not fucking there. Why would she fucking be there? It's only Saturday at one o'clock in the fucking afternoon. Where the fuck yeah. are you? God damn it. Uh, so I call her and I go, this is going to be ridiculous. I said, but the, the workman took like a $30 tube of facial scrub. Like they, I go, yeah. I, I know that it was, it had to be an accident. But I, I also looked all over my apartment. Like I yeah. looked, because you say it fell. Yeah, well, there's no, it can't hide in the shower. There's nowhere for it to fall in the shower. Um, and then I looked and I looked behind the toilet to see if they somehow put yeah. it out on the shelf. I or looked on that. Bumped it. Yeah, something. I have the countertop. I've got I've got a table with towels on it. I went and looked all over my house. I looked in every garbage can to see if it was possibly in there. And I will tell you this: Jill bought me some of that uh, scrub on eBay as well. She was like, "Yeah, I bought it." So I was at her house and she's like, "Here, here's a new tube." And I grabbed it and it's taped. Like it has, it's taped closed. I was like, hmm. So I took the tape off, and I sure enough, and I opened the top, and it's open. Now, when you buy it from the spa, it comes with a safety seal <laughs> on top. You can't get slightly used scrub. So I, I, I said to Jill, and again, it's not her fault. She's, yeah. just, she's trying to do me a favor. So I said, hey, honey, I go, uh, I go, this guy opened this. Like, he tampered with the seal. 
She's like, what are you talking about? I go, it comes with a safety seal right on it. She's like, honey, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I go, no, it's fine. I go, but I don't know if he did. I don't think he refilled it with anything. I go, but at the same time, he might have. Well, that's it. But there's the hole. No, the hole is tiny. Like, I mean, he would have to use a fucking hypodermic. And then in my head, I'm like thinking, well, dude, this, what if this guy put like hydrochloric acid in there? Cause you wouldn't know cause it's minty and it might burn my fucking face off. And then all of a sudden the, the abominable Dr. Fibes walks in. I mean, that's just creepy. So I, I, uh, I, I still used it. It was fine at Jill's. But the point is, like, I'm having a lot of scrub problems. So then at my house, I look all over the place and it's gone, man. It's just not there. So I call Naomi and I'm like, this is ridiculous. But there's a fucking, they took a bottle of scrub. I, a I mean, scrub thief among us. Yeah, it had to be an accident, but it's gone and it's like 30 bucks. And so I kind of, you know, I need some satisfaction here. So uh, she never calls me back. And I, I called her one more time during the week. And because I'm, I'm, again, I'm in the car all fucking day. Then so, what do you care about your skin for? Well, I'm taking showers to oh. go be shiny. I got to look good for people who get in the goddamn to car. To see the back of your head? Uh, well, no, I face people when I drive. I actually uh, have a mirror set up. Your, one of your problems. No, it works perfect. All right. So uh, I, I, yesterday, I get a knock on my door, and uh, it's the manager, and she says, uh, hey, Michael, I'm sorry I didn't get to return your call. I said, well, that's okay. I go, what's the scoop? She goes, well, you know, we looked all over the place, and we can't find it. I said, pardon me? She goes, well, he looked in his toolbox and he looked in his car and he looked in his truck and we looked in the equipment room and yeah, it's, it's just not here. Yeah. I said, um, I'm not crazy. I, it was there. I took a shower on Friday and then Saturday they work in the shower. They work and it's gone. That's the only thing that's gone. Everything else is there, but that's the yeah. only thing that's gone. They grabbed it. They did something with it and they threw it or they threw it away. She goes, well, we went through the trash. We went through the dumpster and we couldn't find it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. there, there's no way. There's no way they did those things. But, uh. So you think of conspiracies at foot here well a foot at first i thought it was an accident but now the very fact that she's like yeah we didn't see it or we can't find it i i know for a fact that carlos and oscar are just fucking daubing each other with my goddamn cleanser in the shower at home right <laughs> they got to be in some sort of illicit mexican embrace and just rubbing minty shit all over their bodies no I, if and I, thinking of me yeah if i know my mexicans they're not using it for what it's intended for you think they get some completely different plans? Yeah, it's probably completely harmless. That it could be something they use to help, you know, get screws into nuts and stuff. <laughs> you know. Okay. So you think? Well, or it could be like a furniture polish or yeah, something. For or they're, them, they're yeah, buffing their silver. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh Christ! All right. Well, I never even thought of that. Well, See? well, I well, I don't give a fuck. Get, bring me my shit back. I just, I just, I, 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 I prefer to go the other route. I like to think that I somehow turned Carlos and Oscar onto skincare, and they've decided, mm -hmm. you know what? We're out in the sun <laughs> quite a bit. Dude, if Mexicans only. don't care about their skin. Now they do. That's the whole point. They didn't until they saw how I handled yeah, my business. See, I don't know how they how they would go, yeah, that's the thing to take here. I just don't. You don't really. You don't see no. that. No. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I Just the price tag that said $30 made them think, we got to grab this. All it's right, probably if you had a sticker on it. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> that on there. Hey, we can sell this, no? Hey, yeah. They're, oh, you know what? That's probably, that's what it is. It's lying on a blanket next to a DVD of Mission Impossible 7. <laughs> On a fucking street somewhere and, and, you know, next to some taco joint. Jesus Christ. They traded it for a soccer ball. Yeah. <laughs> a deflated soccer ball yeah. that they then filled, they filled and it they up patched. With the... Yeah, they patched the holes with the cleanser. They're like, yay. Game it's on. good. Let's play. Game on. He's minty. Uh, so, so, yeah. So, that uh, dude, what the fuck, man? Who steals my shit? So, now that's why I say to you, when you got this workman in here. How yeah. are you sure that he is not going through your house and taking all of these things? Because I didn't fall asleep in a chair while he's here. I'm a, I'm a presence at all times. That's why it's been so uncomfortable for me for the past couple of weeks is that I got shit to do. But the guy's nice. I mean, he's got a good reputation. Uh, I'm constantly in his work zone, in and out, because it's the part of the house, man. So wait a minute. It sounds to me like you're not having Joan Jett fix your kitchen. No, okay. I'm not. All right. <laughs> Uh, although she wouldn't give a damn if you did, honestly, she wouldn't. She doesn't care about her reputation, not at all. No. So I, I, it's you know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing you do with any worker in the house. You don't leave. You leave. Uh, I'll do this. Uh, my son's taking drum lessons, and uh, the drum teacher comes to the house, and they come down here, but I'm right there, and you can hear me. So you know, if he gets whiplashy, I'm down in a second. <laughs> If there's any drum shenanigans. Yeah, if there's any crazy, you know, slapping of the, the student, then, you know. Yeah, if you, hear, if you hear Tom Tom punch. Yeah. And you're like, I'm, I'm down here in a flash. Not my tempo. <laughs> uh, dragging? I, I, dragging? To me. So it, it's, just, it's 
Well, let me ask you this. With that dude in here fixing your house, then you're lurking, yeah. all right? And it's got to be, because uh, you're a musician. So I know you recognize the talent that that dude has. So you're, you're willing to defer to him as he teaches your son drums. Oh, yes. The, oh, the, yes. The, well, here's the thing. When you come down here as a teacher, you know you're not in a, a typical you know, oh, right. affluent house who's, you know, Dylan wants to learn how to play the drums. Yeah. You come down here, you know that the, a musician lives here. Dylan's not bad. Is he? No, he's not bad no. at all. He's, he's, he does a decent job. He pays attention. How about Ethan? Uh, he's well, got a lot Christ. of Ethans around here. No, Ethan's got to work on his fills. Yeah. Um, Rudiments. So uh, basically, I think, it, you know, when I interviewed this guy before he came over, he, he, I, I laid down the line. He, knew, he knows I know what I'm talking about. Sure. I basically just told him I, I'm at the end of my ability to impart any kind of direction to him. I want him to learn the right way, Val, me, my son. And so now we're comfortable. I'm comfortable. He knows I, I don't just le let him come down here, a yeah. guy I've never met before. And just, you know, I, the first lesson I stayed down here and watched just to see if this guy knew what he was doing. And he does. He's a good guy. But, you know, any kind of weird, you know, situation that where he, I would be right here. Yeah. So I think that's the same concept with a worker in your house. You, your presence has to be there. Otherwise, you well, never that's, know. But that's what I'm asking about the worker, dude. Yeah. Does it? emasculate you to watch this dude oh, doing countertops I, while you it, stand it, there you know what it can but then all i have to do is i get like that you know sometimes you know here's a guy that knows everything about carpentry and can build a cabinet and fix a drawer and put in you know he, he can do man hand stuff yeah. right which i'm not really good at i can't really do it that well tools and i don't get along i'm mechanically retarded disinclined yeah <laughs> I, I can say retarded in that. Oh, you can? I, can I in, in that context? I said it earlier about, I said somebody was retarded hot. I said Joe was retarded oh, hot. Well, so then you already <laughs> ruined it. So, okay, I'm, I, I'm mechanically retarded. I don't, I haven't grown to a yeah. point where I can. Well, you mean it in, a, yeah. in the way it's meant to be said. Yeah. yeah. You're not saying that you're just, you're chasing balloons and hitting yourself with a hammer. No. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. You're not, you're not. Petting, I do like keys though. You're not petting a dog to death with a saw. <laughs> <laughs> so all right so you I know what you're about. usually when this happens uh and this happened twice um the guy the guy the kitchen guy finally goes um how long have you been playing guitar and i i tell him the story and he goes because I, I play guitar but i only just casually play it hey, you got a lot of really nice equipment and he goes who who does those paintings down there I go, that's me. I do all because if you can. You, Wait, this see, is the kitchen dude. The kitchen dude. What's what? he doing in the basement? He has to. He had to come down because uh, there's pipes that need to go up for the stove through oh, the floor. Okay. So he had, and plus the, the junction box. It's technical, Mike. I don't want to get into it with you because uh, <laughs> you probably won't follow. I should. Anyway, just trust the junction me. box. Yeah. It was a good movie. Yeah. So then the uh, electrician comes. Same thing. Because I wasn't home, and it forced my wife to actually be pra praise me which doesn't happen often. He asks, he goes, who's, is this, is this, whose stuff is this? This is my husband. What, what does he do? He's a, he's a musician. And he, and, and he goes, well, did he do these paintings too? And all the paintings that I've ever, you've seen on Facebook, they're down here in a drying rack in the corner. And by drying rack, I mean empty old paint cans that they're resting on. <laughs> and he's like, I can't believe that this is unbelievable. So that usually equals it out. Because I do feel stupid sitting there watching a guy who knows how to use a saw. Oh, and, sure. You know, but then all I have to do is put it in context. You know, I could hire anybody. There's a million guys I could have hired to come in and put cabinets and countertops in. They're all good, and they all know what they're doing. How many people can do what I do? And sometimes it takes a little perspective, and I, I, I get over it. Here's the one thing about workers in my house that I can't stand. It's... Um, this happened to me in my old house, not the house we're in right now. Um, it was still in this area. Uh, I, I maintenance guy comes out, Latin guy, Latino guy, Mexican guy. And this had happened a couple times, you know. Which is it? Latino or Mexican? Latin, Latino, or Mexican? I this guy was Mexican. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was I'm say. trying. You know, I don't want to offend him. Well, because I want to know: was he was he dressed like a worker? Was he dressed like a conquistador? Or was he dressed like an English teacher? That's what I Actually, know. Actually, he was a gaucho. <laughs> All right. I told him to take that stupid gaucho coat off. Was he dressed like Morrissey? That's, what it was. It could have been, that's all three. It covers all bases. Yeah. He was dressed like Morrissey. He was dressed like uh, Desperado, Antonio. Panic Bruno. on the streets of London. So here's a guy coming to fix my stove or something. I think it was a stove. And he's 
speaks broken English, but he speaks English really well. And he asked me, he goes, he goes, do you speak Sp Spanish? I says, I says, I says, <laughs> I says, says, says guy. to this guy, I say, do I look like, it? you know, <laughs> oh, hey, what? I go, N no, I, I don't speak it. I understand it and I can read it, but I'm not fluent in it. And he just gives me this look of like disdain. He's like, oh, that's so, that's so bad. And I'm like, he goes, yeah, beep, you know, People today should learn. They should learn their culture. You know, no, but and I and I first I was kind of sad. I was I, I was like sad. I'm like you're right. I should. I don't know who I am. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it turned in reality ripped. And I go, dude, you're in my house. I own this fucking house. There's three thousand whatever square feet it was. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, you're fixing my stove. I think I've acclimated to this country pretty well. Done well. And I've actually. Since then, whenever I, because that's the thing, I hear it a lot. There's well, a lot of. Uh, did you hire that dude? Well, he was already paid to come out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had no choice, and he was a nice guy, but he didn't mean to. Yeah, yeah. He was just saying, oh, you know, don't man, matter. Just, just, Fuck yeah. you, don't. You, you, but they don't. But doesn't there, matter. Today in this culture, it benefits you to be bilingual. It benefits you to know of both course. languages, and I completely understand that. But. There, there's a and only only Mexican Americans in this country that don't speak Spanish know what you feel like. You almost feel humiliated when somebody who can speak the language is there because you feel like you're not really Mexican enough. I hear that, but you know he's hanging shit on you that you don't you don't deserve well, to wear. I mean that's fucked up. Man. Well, that, I, I, that's like when uh, you know when an actor doesn't get a role yeah. because he's not black enough. You yeah, know what I mean? You're just like, dude, that's fucking ridiculous. So what happened is I realized. I stopped. Well, I put that. I mean, I put it to rest. There wasn't any tension or any fight. I, I just said no. I've just never learned and let it let him finish. The well, then job. you two are not true Mexicans. Yeah, because you should have just tied your wrists together and had a <laughs> fucking knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that fucking dude in the puffy white jacket from the beaded video should have come out, and you two should have just gone at it. <laughs> What's up, fucker? What's your problem? Hey, I say you don't even know what that means, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I actually, I actually. Um, Talk to my parents, or, uh, my mom, and I, I just kind of said, hey, you know, what, were, what was grandma, my grandparents, what was their attitude? And they said, when they came to this country, your grandparents, I've come from Mexico, they were treated horribly, migrant workers, all that stuff. My, my, my grandfather was a club-level boxer. I mean, he just got treated like shit. And they said he had to fix people's showers. Yeah, as they mean, slept yeah. in a chair. Exactly. <laughs> they had to steal scrubs. <laughs> they had to stay alive. Hey, check this out. Hey, it makes a good soup. Orale, I put it on my tacos. <laughs> and um, they said, look, when they came to this country, the whole goal was to be American. You wanted to be American. You wanted to to, to assimilate. You wanted your uh, kids to grow up and have a better life. So to them, speaking Spanish got them persecuted. So they kept it as a as a as a language between them, yeah. my grandma and my grand my grandpa, so that all my mom and her sisters and brothers were raised to speak English. They all have Anglo names. I mean, I have an aunt Ruby. I mean, you ever met a Mexican named Ruby? You know, I have an aunt Linda. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> you know, <laughs> I sadly, you know, weirdly enough, I have I know one Mexican girl named Ruby. I'm not even yeah? joking. Yeah, she's a burlesque dancer named Ruby Champagne. Is that and, a real uh, name? Well, probably not, right. but who cares? I just wanted to be able to throw and it in there. And the thing is, my dad's side is the same thing, so I know it's not just this family that's just stuck out like a sore thumb. They all want well, to I mean, be American. Yeah, I, your Uncle Justin is a, is a really nice guy. <laughs> I mean, I like him. I have an Aunt Brooklyn. Yeah. You know? <laughs> your cousin Seth. My Yeah, I have a second cousin <laughs> named Shane. <laughs> so I've, now I got it. So right. now I got my speech. The next time some guy, and it happens, it still happens. Yeah. It don't speak Spain. I said, just a little bit. And then like, oh, that's too bad. I says, hey, you know, my grandpa. And I give him the story. I tell him where my grandparents were from. And they shut up and go fix my house. Finish he, painting my shutters. He looks at you and he just goes, Oaxaca. <laughs> and then he walks away. <laughs> then they see my wife pull up and yeah. get out of the car. And then they just go, what oh, oh, mommy. <laughs> and they bite their hand. Fucker. Like fucking Squiggy and Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And this guy got his shit together. <laughs> I, I like this guy. I paint his <laughs> he, shutters. He's all right. Really he? good. <laughs> I make him a minty shutter. All right. So. so. Uh, all right. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. I would not have fallen asleep with Carlos in my bathroom. Well, understood. Why? Right? Because I don't. I don't. There's nothing to fuck. Because I thought literally, yeah, there's nothing to fucking steal. <laughs> I'm like, what are you gonna take? There's not a fucking thing you can take That's in my goddamn son house. Of a bitch took my toilet paper. And you know what's funny? I literally because I once I just had all the Geico bullshit at the fan, and I had to yeah. bail on them after the accident. I had to get new insurance, so I went to this new insurance company, and uh, they're giving me the prices and the quotes, and then the general goes, 
uh, I called General. They were fucking too expensive. That's how fucking terrible <laughs> too my life. Too expensive for the general. That is where my, that's where my life has gone, dude. dude. You got the colonel. Yeah, you got the colonel. I did. I got a private. <laughs> <laughs> I got that I sergeant. Sergeant uh, insurance. It's fucking terrible. So I had to find somebody. So I got this new company, and they quoted me numbers, and and then they said, well, hey, you know, if you wanted to bump in a homeowner's policy, yeah, that would make your numbers go down. I said, how the fuck does that make sense? And they're like, well, it's like one hundred and sixty five dollars flat. For the homeowners for the year, and that lowers your monthly payment for the for the car Don't insurance by by thirty seven. No, it's like whatever you, wherever you live. Oh, it's not and a it, renters insurance. It, right, rentals. Yeah, and it lowers you down by like thirty seven dollars a month. So you're saving three hundred seventy bucks, or you know whatever three hundred four hundred bucks to, to just pay one hundred sixty five to do it. Just and then you're covered for whatever the fuck people steal. So honestly, I'm not joking. I went. I'm going to call up and report this yeah. fucking facial scrub stolen, goddammit. What's, what's your scrub deductible? Make an insurance claim. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure I can't wait to find out, though. <laughs> Holy shit. I think it's probably fucking 12 pesos. Wait, was it Paul Mitchell? Uh, out. Can't do it. But you know what I can do? What? I can make you go upstairs and have lunch with me on your new countertop. Lunch, right? Oh, yeah. We can do that. Well, yeah. We need to go get some food, like some White Castle oh, yeah. or some Homer oh, no, or something, no, no, right? No, no, yeah, no, no. No, I'm in town, dude. It's got to be done. Man, I haven't eaten real... F- I haven't had a stove since May. So? And they just delivered my stove, and I got a new kitchen. I want to cook. I cook, dude. That's what I am. I'm a cooker guy. Dude, let's make cupcakes. What kind? Mint scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Call the worker. I'm sure he's got some in his fucking toolbox. <laughs> you guys can get me at Mike at MikeSchmidtComedy.com. You guys can be my friend at Facebook.com slash the 40-year-old boy. You can be following me on Twitter. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> you right? could be. You could be doing that. If you went to Twitter.com slash the 40-year-old boy and click the follow button. Uh, our friend David Hernandez is across from me right now in his basement wearing his uh, Dark Side of the Moon t-shirt. Very, yeah. very cool. And his skull rings because he's that guy now. Uh, Dude, I told you I'm in a game. You can find him at facebook.com slash David Mex Hernandez. Go ahead and check him out there. Be his friend, be his pal, be his confidant, be his bon vivant. And then you can also go to artbydmh.com, A R T B Y D M H.com, and check out all of his Valscapes, all of his guy cons, and uh, look at the work that he's done. And then think to yourself, you know what? I want him to do some of that work for me. And you can commission him to do something that's actually an original piece. And uh, he'll work with you on if you have an idea, and, and, or he'll create something completely out of whole cloth for you. It all depends on what you're willing to pay. So go to artbydmh.com. And is it David at artbydmh.com? Yes. They can email you and contact you there. His name's Ted. Our friend Lily Von Stupp. Oh, by the way, before I get to Lily, yeah. Uh, please remember Ryan Dirks does all the web uh, work for this. And, uh, and I, I just, I'm just doing this because I, I, have to, I say it every week. I owe him a text or an email. i got to get a hold of Can Brian. I explain this situation? <laughs> okay. A few months back, you... In the plugs, you were talking about how we need to get, we got to get year seven up yes. for sale. And I actually asked the question, um, am I the only one, am I the reason we're holding this up? Because I haven't done the artwork for the page. And you got, you went, yeah. It was true. So then at the, the next, time. the next week, I busted out the new artwork for the whole the download concept, set all of, it, yes. of all the downloads, year one through seven. And maybe about three months ago, maybe two months ago. So you've had this drawing. That all you got to do is forward it. Really? That's all you need to do is forward it to Ryan, right? Well, this is a good time to talk about this if you want to do this. I'm okay. Because I, I, um, I, I, if I'm missing some, I'm not, well, no, you're not you missing anything. No, you're, you're right about that. But here's why I haven't done it. And uh, because I want to redo the whole Joe business page. Uh, I want, <laughs> I, I know you laugh um, because I have, uh, there's ideas. Um, I, I have a plan. So I, you and I need to talk about it. But, you don't uh, look like a guy with a plan. <laughs> do I look like a guy with a plan? I just do things. Everybody's out of their minds. <laughs> uh, so, so that's the thing. I don't, I don't right. want to piecemeal it and put shit up ones at a time. And also, uh, that's, just, that's just my idea. So I have All to right. talk to you about some stuff. So, so that's why so I have what we not... need to establish here is that the Joe business page is going to be redone. Uh, yes. And then everything on it is going to be revamped and some things aren't going to be there and there's going to be new things. Correct. There. So it would be better for me just to bust this thing out and then get it to Ryan and then Ryan builds the Joe business page and everyone's That's happy. what I would like. And, uh, and I, I need to text Ryan and call him and see if he's on board with that sort of thing. And also I need to see if you're on board with that sort of thing. Because again, I, don't I will want tell you what, to do with it. Well, doing this show, again, I used to say, I just talk. 
And then I was lucky enough to have Lily produce and edit and put the show up, and then you were to jump in and do the artwork and the music. Well, now I learned the art, the uh, the editing and the posting of the show. And I think you're better off for it. Uh, well, it, it needed to be done. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not, the show's be... not better with Lily not being in. I agree. On and that, board. Yeah, I'm not knocking Lily's contribution. No, no, but she I'm, has yeah. to be here. But but oh, the definitely. thing is, uh, but I'm but knowing that I can do it without her was something that needed to be done. But my point is, I can't do what you do. I can't do the artwork. I can't. So though, that's why I kind of like tug it on your shirt sleeve all the time, going, "Hey, Dave." Um, so you did. Yes, that artwork is done, and also the uh, the concept we've come up with for the for the Podfest download, which I'll talk about later on. Yeah. Um, you know, that, I'm sure that's in progress and almost done. Yeah. But uh, it is. Uh, I don't know. I'm said I'm sure. Oh, I know what we're doing. I've just <laughs> got to paint it. Exactly. So so we've talked about this, and we've. Uh, so, but I, I want to do the whole new whole. I want the page to be done over, and also I want to talk about maybe other things on the website, like taking pages down and putting things up. And you know what you should have on your website? I was just thinking about this. What's that? Like a blog page, where you, people text stuff and you can write back and kind of keep people up to date with what you're doing. You mean like email? No, like a <laughs> blog on the page. Like a comment page, like people can make comments and I answer. Oh wait, them. I'm sorry, you already have one of those. Yeah, I think I do. Right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, uh, well, because here's the thing. I just, we switched last week from Libsyn to Art19. So we became part of the Art19 family. Not me. Uh, no, you did. You came right along. You didn't have to move no, your I office. Didn't. I told them that you were just grandfathered in where you, where you lived. But uh, we've moved the 40 year old boy offices over to Art19. So that boss. will tie into the website and some stuff. And I want to talk to you about all that. Hey, here, here, here's the thing I'm going to do I'm going to let the listener <laughs> hear a bunch of shit that we're not going to talk about to them. So you and I got to discuss stuff. That's why, as you brought it up, that's why Year 7's not up yet. Because okay. I, I've been wanting to do other all right. things. Because I, I know that I did that painting. You I'm, did. Yeah, and it sits right. right on my laptop yeah. and on my desktop. And I see it every day and I go, fuck. So we could have sold some stuff in the interim. Before. Yeah, except Year 7 is, is kind of a fucking swing and a miss. So, I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I like half of it and the other half I don't. So, I mean, why I told don't we you, treat I that like 13th floor in a hotel or something? Just we, skip we just it? don't have it. Just don't have Year 7 yeah. doesn't exist? It never happened. It was uh, a dream, like in Dallas. <laughs> Patrick Duffy's got headphones on. Yeah, in a shower. He comes walking out, and his fucking facial his scrub is not there because his, his face is so shiny, he couldn't scrub it up. Two Mexicans took it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so Ryan Dirks, I got, I owe him, and I just keep saying I owe him an email and a text because I owe. Him, I think I this. All I things. think this does it all. I think we've all been put on notice. <laughs> if we work for Forty Year Old Boy Industries, we got a lot of shit to do. Yeah, you do. You know who doesn't? Me. All of a sudden. Um, so Lily Von Stupp is the producer of this show, and, and uh, I, I enjoy having her involved. I wish she could be. She was, dude, so sick this week. Uh, and I was tra traveling anyway uh, last she minute. She had a man voice. Dude, I talked to her over the weekend, and, and she she sounded like Brenda Vaccaro, you know, drank sand. I mean, it was like fucking brutal. So <laughs> Brenda Vaccaro drank <laughs> I mean, just terrible. Does anybody know? Of any Probably not. All right. No, but imagine any husky voiced lady drinking sand. Or Morgan Freeman. Uh, <laughs> did would he drink sand? So then, uh, I love sand. <laughs> sand is delicious. <laughs> so they had the uh, so Lily Vunchtub is again the producer of this show, and she had a bad knee again, as she has the bad knee, the bad back, and she's been performing, so she has to stay healthy for that because that's kind of her job, job. But. Uh, uh, you, you know, I, she's our, our great friend. So if you want to go ahead and find her, you can go to facebook.com slash Lily Von Stupp and be her friend there or attempt to be her friend and have her ignore you. That'd be cool. Uh, you can also follow her at several different Twitter accounts, twitter.com slash Lily Von Stupp, twitter.com slash MNTs, and twitter.com slash HollywoodBQFest. But if you'd like to write her a personal note and find out how much your clown boyfriend wants for a crate of fucking underdog bobbleheads. Dude, he's got it. You can write her at lily at burlesque411.com. That's lily, L-I-L-I, at burlesque411.com. Last night, as I got home, about a half past ten, there was the woman I thought I knew in the arms of another man. I kept my cool, I ain't no fool Let me tell you what happened then I packed some clothes and I walked out And I ain't going back again So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Say I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria 
address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer Gotta start a new life You've been many things But most of all A good secretary to me And it's times like this I feel You'll always be close to me Was I wrong to work nights To try to build a good life and no play has just cost me a wife So take a letter, Maria And dress it to my wife Say I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria And dress it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer and Gotta start a new life when a man loves a woman, it's hard to understand That she could find more pleasure in the arms of another man I never really noticed how sweet you are to me It just so happens I'm free tonight, would you like to have dinner with me? So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Say I won't be coming home I'm gonna start a new life so Take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer I'm Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria mm -hmm. Address it to my wife I won't be coming home I'm gonna start a new life So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer I'm gonna start a new life Want to remind you folks about the Monday Night Tees every Monday night at the Three Clubs on Vine at Santa Monica. Tons of naked ladies, sometimes naked men, uh, apathetic bouncers, watered down drinks. Go check it out. It's an amazing show uh, and a lovely producer. Our great friend Lily Von Stubb. She's fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm teasing. It is the greatest burlesque show in history, regardless of the apathetic bouncers or the watered down drinks. <laughs> but uh, what's on stage in front of you? Oh my God, you will love it. You will have uh, you will have beer goggles on and watch these girls spinning their tassels, and you will think to yourself, "Oh, please!" You will never in your life root harder for for spirit gum to fail than you will at the Monday Night Tease, as you want to see a a pasty fly into the crowd and get a glimpse of oh heavenly nipple. <laughs> Which is my, Heavenly my nipple. favorite movie. That's my favorite platter song. It's my favorite Sunday flavor, right. Baskin Robbins. Can we play Heroes again? Uh, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know about that. See, I don't want to, I don't want that to be the thing where we come no, to the I basement don't. and I want to be doing a music thing that everybody hates See, because the, they yeah. want to hear you just sing. That's no. what I'm telling you. People want to hear you do a real song. Nobody wants me to fucking just gum it up and talk over it. I disagree. It. I thought that was hysterical because it well, had real music in it, but it also had you just... Well, sure. Saying funny shit in, in the moment. Which I liked, and it was yeah. fun, but I'm just saying, if we do it every week, then it would just like, ah, uh, you It gets to be back. like a, sh a shtick, like morning well, zoo stuff. Well, yeah, because eventually they'd want to hear just you sing. They'd be like, you know, could you shut the fuck up, dude? Uh, you know, because you ever heard the name, there's the, <laughs> there's the band named Bob Marley and the Wailers. And, uh, and like, I was like, well, Is that I, with Bob Marley in it? Yeah, I think so. I think All he's right. in the band. And I would like, you know, I would be on board. I'd go, well, I like Bob Marley. Do not care for the Wailers. Please temper it down. I'd like to hear Bob sing. I don't need to hear you and your wailing bullshit. So you and I are, we're, we're Mex Marley and, and the Wailer. Right, that's gonna be the name of the show, right? Max Marley, Max Marley and the Whaler. And the Whaler. <laughs> but I want to be my first album. But I'm gonna spell it like the sandwich at Burger King. That's who I am. <laughs> I have Max Marley and the Whaler with the H in it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, all right, so you guys remember the Monday Night Tees exists. Go to Facebook.com/slash Monday Night Tees and uh, check it out and see all the naked people and learn all the plugs and see who's coming to town and go ahead and see who's going to be there and find out what's happening. Pictures, all sorts of cool stuff. Go to her Twitter accounts and check those out and uh, be her friend on Facebook and you'll get all sorts of notifications. You can get on the mailing list to go to burlesque411.com. It's, it's an enterprise. It's a fucking cottage enterprise. Lily Von Schupp is changing the game and changing the face of burlesque. Please help her do so. 
uh, remember, folks, that uh, I will oh, I'll tell you this. I will be on a podcast next week live what? at Kamikaze. Uh, I think I'm, I, it's, uh, Christ, off the top of my head, I don't remember the name of the show. It's Sean Merrick's show called Worst, it might be Worst Collection Ever. I think that's the name of it. But regardless, we're doing a live show at Kamikaze Comic Book Convention this Sunday. So it's, at, and it's at fucking 10 in the morning. So I, I have to be at the L.A. Convention Center at 8 and to see a bunch of people dressed like the Falcon. I don't know. Fuck. Dude, but, I wish I knew the Falcon. <laughs> you know, it's funny. There's an old time radio show called The Falcon. So yeah. I, I wanted to. I, but the guy in the comic book, he's just Falcon, right? I don't know if he's the. Sometimes I get confused when stuff gets a the and when it doesn't. Yeah. Like, I've heard Pink Floyd referred to as the, the Pink, Pink Floyd. Or the, yeah. Or the Floyd. Or, or is it Eagles or the Eagles? I think it's Eagles. Well, that, that's so like always call them the Eagles. Yeah, because uh, oh, who is it? There's a very famous band that's that's like that, like Foo Fighters. It's just Foo Fighters, and that's the not Foo the Fighters. Foo, Foo no, Fighters. there's but there's a few bands like that. They're just what about Prince? It's not he, the Prince. I don't think he's the Prince. Because when when he, what year did the Bears go to the Super Bowl when he played? Two thousand six. So Val Val was three, and he he wanted to know when the Prince was coming on. Oh, nice. So I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, uh, so the. Uh, what was I saying? So I'll be at this uh, this podcast, this podcast. I apologize. Uh, Kamikaze uh, is the name of the convention and the show that I believe called Worst Collection Ever with Sean Merrick and Jen. They are the hosts, and they've been nice enough to ask me to come live. I have to read two books. I'll show them to you. I brought them God with me for this uh, homework. I got to read a like a Superman book and then a, and a and another book and then Man. talk about them because they what they do is they find that blows old school bad comics. And then you got to read them and talk about them. So and I even wrote him back and yeah. I, is there anything you want me to talk about on this? And he's, he hasn't answered me yet. So I I don't I hope I'm still on it, but I'm pretty sure I am. Go to Kamikaze this weekend, Sunday, ten o'clock a.m. It's a live pod fest uh, podcast thing, and I'll be there talking about stuff. Uh. So there, we, oh, and also, dudes, I'll just say this, why not? If you want to be an Uber driver uh, and you want my code, because I, 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 I've had two listeners already get my code. So if you if you plan on doing Uber, uh, contact me and I will send you my code and then you can use it and you get $150. How great is that? Sweet. It helps me too, but you will get 150 bucks when you complete like 20 trips or whatever the fuck it is. And I, I got to tell you, that's uh, you can do that in a night. At least I do, because I'm fucking Travis Bickle, and uh, and I just to keep myself from shooting sport. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so go ahead and do that. If you guys want to be Uber drivers, contact me, and I'll send you the code. Then you can use it, and we'll all get paid. It'll be so fun, so fantastic. Uh, I, and I'm not gonna get the code out on the air because it's some fucking horrible amount of dashes and and you know, underscores. Yeah, your, your phone is not within reach, so you're kind of at the mercy of my studio here. So what, I don't know what you mean. Well, couldn't you go retrieve your code to, to read it? I don't it? want to fucking read it. No, because the thing you. is, I read it a couple times. I got I fell asleep this, during the middle. Of I it. don't blame you. Well, because again, how many underscores do you need in a fucking link? I mean, it's just terrifying. So Eight. yeah, I mean, just have it be. It should just be Uber slash four O Y O B, right? But I mean, no. Instead, they fucking. Oh, I'm sure that's some code that real guys yeah. get when the Uber pays the money. Fuck. We well, are not known as hug guy. No, Uber hugging guy. That's me. <laughs> um. So. Oh, and also, I'll tell you, if you want to go to MikeSchmidtComedy.com, you can donate to the show on all the pages. There's a little schmitty there with his pocket out. Hey, there's a Joe business page, which we're going to redo at some point, I think, from what, I, from what I've discussed in the previous segment. Apparently, I'm doing it. I... So when you go to the Joe business page, business page, we've got all sorts of cool stuff. The Yurt Dirt Dirt shirts are available. We're blowing those out. We are? I'm going to low, I'm going to lower the price on those again soon. So they'll be on the Joe business, the new Joe business. Page. Uh, they might be. I don't know. That's the whole deal. I might just give them away. I don't know. I got to figure it out, dude. We, get, right. you and I will talk. We have to have a brain trust okay. meeting. But the Yurt Dirt Dirt shirt is available, and uh, I Schmitty comes alive is available one more week. All right, Schmitty comes alive is available one more week, so you can pick that up. Or no, it's Schmidt Alive Two. Schmidt Alive Two is available one more week. That's the video and audio package from the 2014 LA Podcast Festival. My CD, The Big Angry, is available over there. Uh, the download sets your one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, not year seven. But <laughs> the, uh, one through six are available. Go ahead and pick those up. What are you doing? Was that a me? You're doing me there. That was an interesting. Was it? <laughs> yeah, it was one of your blurt laugh things. Yeah, and then uh, so those are available. And then there's the uh, tweakedaudio.com are our friends. They're cool. And uh, the last, oh, and also use our Amazon link, dudes. That's pretty cool, man. A, a lot of you used it in fucking, uh, in like September or whatever the fuck it was. Or no, because it was, yeah, I, I think they're a couple months behind. Well, Christmas is coming up, man. Christmas is coming up. So it's important that you use the, the Amazon code and help us out. That's really cool of you. Thank you for thinking of us and we get a taste of it. But dude, I, the last one I got was actually pretty decent. Like it really helped. So it always helps. Any, any amount fucking helps. Use our Amazon code and spend some stuff. But 
uh, it was it was this weird. It was out of the blue. I didn't expect what I got uh, three months ago. So thank you. That's nice. Uh, and and I, I guess that I, you know we should probably go upstairs and eat that lunch that I was talking about. Well, I need to tell you about uh, you. You got to buy me a new guitar, man. That one you knocked over. Um, I think it's busted. I, I fixed it temporarily, but I'm getting a bu look. It's buzzing. Hear that? That right there. Yeah, that's not good. How the fuck did I? I literally it just it just bumped. But I didn't no, do no. The, you bumped that one, but that one knocked this one over. <laughs> and this one, there's something sc screwy going on. I hear it. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty grim. So now I yeah. Oh, it's even on that. Well, maybe you can say that's like some a kind of fun buzzy song. Like, you know, you know what? I just improved it, dude. I threw a flange on there, man. That's what I did. You know, you don't have to do. You don't have to buy a fucking pedal for that now. Now you got an effect right built right in. That's fucking perfect. Yeah, see, I can't play my Jimi Hendrix. That board. sounds sour. Oh my! What did I do to that guitar? Literally, I I did I did nothing. I walked through the room like a giant, and I just bumped it and knocked it the fuck over. I it's not like I stepped on it. You know, I didn't do a Chevy Chase and fucking barrel roll over the motherfucker. <laughs> But I mean, all I did was make it go buzz. That's fucking bizarre. No, worse than this. Listen, to... that's not good. <laughs> you fucking did that, dude. There's no fucking way that's on me. You know, that's actually the way that I would play a guitar, though. That actually sounds. You know, fuck you. That sounded good. I like that code. That sounded perfect. You should get that fucking drum teacher down here to go ahead and fix some shit. Maybe he'll be down here. says people skip the closing music. I say people love your closing music, so let's prove it to them. If you've listened this far, write me at listen at gmail.com and we'll send you a 40-year-old boy hearing commemorative Facebook profile picture that you better fucking put up, you dick. Sorry about the dick thing. Thing, 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 thing. Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. I don't want you to miss any of that brilliance.